wait, are we live now? Kind of. What about now? That's kind of mean. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hi, guys. Didn't see you there, Chet. Oh, oh hey. hello. How's it going, internet? <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Bree's going to have a sex dream about the internet tonight. <laughs> no, I probably will, but you'll all be Tim Blake Nelson. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's such a talent. I'd be, I'd be honored to be Tim Blake Nelson. Uh, can I, can I still have my face, but his body, or oh. vice versa? Well, however you want to do it. Like a that's mermaid, a, but a with like a Tim Blake maid. Ooh, a Blake maid. I want to be a Blake, a wear Blake. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, he went to Juilliard. Anyway, Ooh. I've been Googling uh, I'm now suddenly today. more attracted. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, happy belated birthday to Tim Blake Nelson. Uh, his birthday was yesterday. Oh, very excited. So was Abria's. Wow. Thanks for, oh, yeah, thanks for visiting Abria's Island. <laughs> happy birthday, Abria. Thank you guys. Happy birthday. Love you. I'm so glad you were born. I'm so happy. Aww. Like, honestly, I think about you every day and it just like, my heart like, like wants to explode. And I just am very happy that I, I, I know you and I feel really lucky that you asked me to come be on games with you and it makes me really happy. And I don't want to cry right now, but I might. If you um, cry, I swear to God, I will turn this stream right around. I'm a strong bitch when I'm in this chair. <laughs> no weakness. <laughs> Trying to keep it together. Okay, I love you. Okay, I love you too. Thank you so much. Let's not you pretend guys. like we haven't cried at this table before. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Fair the enough. seal's been broken on all our eyes. <laughs> Don't break the seal. Uh, I love you guys so much. And I'm so excited that you guys are here with us, that you're here with us, that our awesome guest Ruben is here with us. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, we'll start with Ruben and then we'll jump into the game. Hi, everybody. I'm Ruben Bressler, uh, at Mox Ruby on Twitter and all of the social media channels. And I'm excited to be back as a guest. And your character is? Oh, my cap, my character. Right, I actually my play Dungeons. My character. My character is, uh, <laughs> my character is Jasper J. Bilgewater, uh, who's uh, recently become Captain Jasper J. Bilgewater, thanks to a wish upon a star. Oh, no, bitch, I'm back, so. <laughs> no, it's my own ship. I wished upon a star and got my <laughs> own ship. You're still on my ship, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but I'm so, I'm not the captain like of the captain ship right that we're now. on. Fight, fight, not, fight, not like fight, fight, right fight. Now. Right. <laughs> visiting <laughs> visiting so captain happy. in waiting. Anyway. You're a lady in waiting. We love it. Sweet. I wrote an intro order so I wouldn't have to do this out loud, but you're making me do it anyway. Oh, I Anna. see it. Vanna's next. Oh, I didn't see it either. I'm so sorry. I also <laughs> don't know how to read. Uh, so that's that. Uh, hello, Andrea. You're trying to be a clever bitch. Never again. <laughs> you didn't warn us you were going to do that before we started. I never warned you about anything. Well, then don't blame us when we don't notice things. That's fair. <laughs> Also, happy birthday. That sounds like the whole you. show. <laughs> you weren't wrong. I love you so much. I love um, you. Yes, I'm Vanna. I play a character called Addie Balmiar. Balmiar. And, and uh, I am a half elf fighter with a focus on the pistoles and, uh, and uh, my baby. <laughs> me and my baby. My baby and me. Hey. Oh my God, that's the love of my life. That was Vanna. Um, she is also the love of my life in the game. It's amazing. I will fight uh, you for Vanna. Get out of here. Please do. We, ah! we already have, we already do fight, but I thought we were already having a thruple, so it's fine. I, oh, uh, yes. Great, done. Um, hi guys, Terry Gumble here, uh, playing EO Jremertz. I am a stout halfling fighter with a heart of gold. Uh, trying to plan a wedding, but there's this like dragon that's getting in the way. So I'm hoping we're able to figure something out uh, today. Uh, we'll see though, because I always have dreams. I always have goals. I always have hopes and often shattered. <laughs> true. True. Very true. Hi everyone. I'm Eric and I'm playing Dirty Hank, the uh, dwarf fighter and, and drinker of many things and puncher of many more things. That's all I got. I also love Abria. Oh, <laughs> guilty to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Happy birthday month. Oh, it's my birthday year, you guys. Did you know? 
Wow. Oh, oh my God. Happy birthday <laughs> year. Thank Hold on. You. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> At Wait, some it's point, not your, isn't it your birthday year too? No, but it, it's almost my birthday this? fiscal quarter. <laughs> Eric, when is Eric. your birthday? <laughs> Nobody's ever known. Say I'll look internet. it up right now, bitch. No, yeah. no, don't, don't. <gasps> Banna, please tell me. I will give you inspiration if you send me a message with when it is. I'm going to yeah. say it out loud. Everyone oh, needs to Don't, don't yeah. dox him like that. He yeah. doesn't want it out there. Dox? June Listen, 5th. Last year, <laughs> last year, she literally like threw me a party. Like she, she's like, she's like, fuck you. It's your, your birthday. We're having a party. Yeah, she wanted an excuse to party birthday. too. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. It's so soon. <laughs> June 5th. June 5th. Thank you. Mark it down in your eye, cows, Dana, fuckers. Please take inspiration. Dana, 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 thank you. <clears throat> okay. And now Abria is in my calendar as well. I didn't actually know until a few days ago, so. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm coughing. This is nothing. Mm. Um, all right. We have a bunch of stuff to get to. Uh, but before we get started, I want to say thank you guys so much. You help keep our lovely little ship afloat for three wonderful seasons. And we appreciate every donation, dollar, every bit, every like, every retweet, every emoji. You guys are excellent. And we're so happy that you enjoy our game. Uh, if you go to exclamation point unlocks, you can see what everyone's working toward this go round. I don't know what I'm pointing at. I'm like, I guess it's down there. Which way do I... It's that way. I'm not looking at what. That is the way like. chat would be. The way you're now, pointing. Wait, are there you pointing you at chat or are you pointing, pointing at? I'm yeah, pointing you're at nailing chat. it. You're yeah. nailing okay, it. Okay, sweet. So go to exclamation point unlocks to see all the cool stuff that you're unlocking. We already have a bunch. Holy shit. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> language. We have a lot of stuff unlocked already. So thank you so much. Wow. Because uh, we all want the stinger. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited for the stinger. And I uh, asked Ruben maybe like 11 seconds ago if he was down for that yeah. because I don't plan in advance at all ever. <clears throat> so Take notes, before, folks. Yep. <laughs> this is how to be upper level. Honestly, DM. planning is for suckers. It's a waste of time. Wait, oh my God. You can't please, no one look at my 20 pages of notes for a one shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did a cool saving throw, like advanced DMing guide. And I lied the whole time about like prepping and being good at it. You just show up and just have good people and then well, you don't have to do anything. The thing I is, think you're fine. lying. Cause I know you fine. study and I know it's you make fine. notes. And you also don't the, know that. the thing is, Abria is like, once you're an expert and you've known the rules, that's when you can start bending and breaking them. So that's what I say you can, whenever I forget. Or you just spend works. a year jamming a show that's your personal Vietnam where you literally, <laughs> there's no point in planning. It's a waste of time. What is wrong with you? Don't just show up. Okay, wow. we're not that bad, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Ah. oh. <laughs> Okay, before we get into it, uh, <laughs> let's do a quick shout out to our sponsors. Uh, the first of which is, oh no, I always have this pulled up. Where is it? There we go. Oh. Uh, the first, it's only two and it, they've been the same amazing sponsors the whole time and I just have zero memory right now. First of which is Hero Forge. Thank you so much Hero Forge Yay. for your sponsorship. They are the makers of very cool, per customizable, highly modular and granular minifigures for your games. Uh, yeah, it's a really fun interface. You can like do a lot of tweaking and make a lot of really cool, really diverse characters. Uh, they have lots of like non human humanoid builds that they're adding on to all the time. Uh, they had a very cool Kickstarter that has now unlocked the ability to have your minis printed out in color if you are like me with the non-art fingers and just can't be bothered to paint. So you or can just actually the have it time. To you. It takes right. lots of time to paint a mini, I realize. Oh, I am in a quarantine and underemployed. Like I have time, just not the ability. Just not the, yeah, not the will. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the patience of it. When I realized the last time I painted some minis, it's like, it's like, I just, if I just slowed down, this would look a lot better, but gosh, I don't want to. Right. Yeah. I've got some. <laughs> Eric said, gotta go fast. <laughs> He's got that Sonic painting. Yeah. I was eating a chili dog and running away from robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Along with an echidna, and I still don't know what those are, and it's fine. 
Uh, so yeah, go check out Hero Forge. Um, and our other awesome sponsor is Norse Foundry. They are the makers of very cool dice and dice accessories too. Uh, if you go to exclamation point Norse now in the chat, something will pop up. I literally don't know and I never check. Uh, I even watch other shows and I'm like, oh, this is the time I should check what the, no, I, I don't know. It's fine. Uh, but if you use code saving throw show at checkout, you will save 10% off of cool metal dice and acrylic dice and like dope accessories and like fun pencils and things just to trick out your TTRPG life. So go give them a like and a buy if, if you need stuff. Uh, thank you guys for your sponsorship. And we have some stuff to adjudicate. Terry, are you down to keep track of the rolls of which there are several yeah okay we'll do those and then we'll get into the toast and then we'll get into the game the first is from uh zarfin who has four for the table holy crap i mean we should talk about that you and i later but wow. i'll let it go this I week say thank you fine what i'm just saying thank you yeah, yeah we can talk now i say thank you as well yes i i, I concur thank you <laughs> Uh, the next is from the Bard 1971, who has one for the table. Dead Gunslinger has one for the table. Griffin of Falcon Hall Hollow. Hallow, sorry. Got some Harry Potter. Hallow in my be thy name. Hey. Wow. Has one for the table. Zach McInnes, the first and greatest of this list, has one for me. Thank you. That's what's up. Thomas W. D. Young, thank you, has two for me. Uh, so Jander has one for me. Terry, please write mine down too, because I'm not writing it down anymore. I always do. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> it's because she doesn't trust you. Mm. I don't trust you. Pirates. Yeah, that's fair. You are a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but, we're not the ones that need reminding, Abria. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't tell me hard so truths? Mean. <laughs> don't tell me hard truths. I don't want them. <laughs> Our boy Modern Child Mocho has one for the table. Nemesar, splitting the difference. We love it. Staying on both sides. Nemesar has two for the table no, and pick two a side. for me. Yeah. We're at, we're, our country's nope. at war. Pick a side. <laughs> <laughs> our country? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> DJ Phoenix has one for me. Thank you very, very much. Uh, B. Duluth has four for the table. Good looking out. P.A. Perryman has one for the table. Zenora1911 has one for the table. One Unique Beast has a one unique one for the table. Captain Obvious has one for the table. Soggy Quiche has one for the table. And RJ Canuck has two for me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We love it. We love it. We're going to be all right tonight, team, I hope. Oh. Oh, no. She's going to challenge us oh. to use all of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that challenge was just accepted as fuck. Cool. Time to burn through. All of your rerolls, we love it. We love it so much. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, just more, that's just more kindling for you to light on fire. Exactly. If you didn't have as many rerolls, I wouldn't give you some. I also, okay, we're doing you toast have now. twice as so many as she does, it's fine. Oh shit. You guys literally have 18, that's great. <laughs> no, we have 20 and you have nine. Okay, well, you said twice, not like. Yeah, a little bonus. I didn't want to rub it in your. Are we gonna do this because I don't have the muscle anymore to hold a glass? Yeah, no, I super don't I either, and I didn't even grab a glass. Heavy. I'm just drinking. I'm just botting a whole thing of orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> so the first is from Be Right UK. Oh, Abria, happy birth yesterday. Hope you had a great day with lots of presents or <gasps> booty. booty. Oh yeah, she did. Oh yeah, she did. Oh God, Abria, no. <laughs> So how did Bria die? She choked to death on orange juice. It was yeah. super sad. Vanna, Ulysses, Rama, what is wrong with you? Man, <laughs> we don't know each other, do we? <laughs> Ulysses is a good middle name. It ain't my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> that was very oh good. Shit, if I didn't give you inspiration earlier. That damn, Tim that Booty was Nelson. Because that's exactly what I was thinking of. Uh, um, the next is from Thomas W.D. Young. He says, ahoy! Wait, is the next part part of it? I don't know. I'm very confused. There's just like a good, there's like a bullet point with no like, oh. it's just untethered I from think time it's just or belonging. Ahoy. Ahoy. Yeah, okay. All right, ahoy. let's do that one more time. Ahoy! Booty! <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna skip over the next one until I get some like, I need a source cited. I need these in like MLA format. I'm mm. just not ready for this. Oh, okay. This one is from our friend, 54 Aqua Snakes. It says, Luigi, you were a great pupper to Lindsay and Tom. Rest in peace. Booty. Booty. Aw, pupper. That's also a very good name for a dog. Mm. I just want to yell like, I like, I like just a genu- like a person's name is a good name for a dog. That's very good. Oh, rest in peace, Luigi. Uh, the next is from Kiganis3981, who says, Woohoo, let's have some fun. Booty! Booty! We will, maybe. Who knows? No fun allowed. It's yeah, a really maybe. hard to drink out of like a full thing. Yeah, you look you crazy. Do. Yeah, it's a not bit. great. It's that's fair. It's like it's a psychopath the, right now. You look like oh, a pirate. It's quite the pirate vessel. I like vessel. it. I like it. I think Where did it. you find that? <laughs> it's just next. It was to in me. my other hand the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Sometimes there's just glasses places. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You don't know my fucking life, Ulysses. Calm down. Don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> the next is from B. Because be care <laughs> to Luigi. The best deer to ever grace the Saving Throw Studios. Booty. Booty. The next is from Jimmy Buffett, our friend. Yeah. We know him, we love him. So y'all were just gonna go on vacation right next door against the captain's orders, BT dubs, and then not even stop in to say hi. I'm hurt. Booty. Booty. <laughs> They're right still there. You don't know what's gonna I'm happen. I'm not gonna have also, to. Also, you're dead. That. Yeah, you're dead, like Jimmy a Buffett. You've died canonically several times. Several Ooh, really? times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, in supernatural rules, that means he'll be back for five more. Yeah, right. that's true. true. And we'll go into an alternate reality where none of the other characters had died yet. So then it's that version oh. of, of Bobby. <laughs> We're just yeah. full Jean Grey. The lyric is wasted away again in Margaritaville. There's no <laughs> oh, again. Oh, it's like Russian Doll. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, Spoilers. Oh, I like this a lot. Season two, Wait, Russian Doll, that? Jimmy Buffett. Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Tuesday, what a concept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, what a concept. Yeah. Nice. Good rap. Uh, our next is from Junk Garage. What misadventures will this dysfunctional crew get into this week? Only time will tell. Booty! Booty! Dysfunctional? Tim Booty Nelson. Yes, very. Uh. <laughs> and last but not least from our good, good friend, Chil Uh Oh. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Yes, uh, we do. Okay. Uh, invites cast to sing happy birthday to Abria. <gasps> Yes. This is going to be so out of sync because we are... <laughs> it's so it's going to be real awkward. Uh. Okay. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Abria. Happy birthday, happy Thank birthday you. to you. I was going to throw on my auto tune, but I thought against it. How dare you not? <laughs> it's Thank not you guys too late. very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm at exactly now at 50% of your guys' rerolls. Thanks to Studley Mayor, who gives me one more. Uh, me I actually, we actually have 19. I miscounted. I'm sorry. So you monster. Scamp! <laughs> That's Actually, okay. We're, we're, at, we're uh, at an we're uneven. It's 27 fine. now. It's weird. I don't know where they're going. It is weird. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a liar, Eric. All I right. can't be anything else. Unlock. That's, Holy That's sh- not true. Okay. Well, unlocks. First things first. Uh, that can't be right. And then, mm, It is. No, we weren't going to do... Oh, okay. I don't know why it's on there, but apparently Hadal's coin is back with the message, did you think I was really gone? I, Dom, did you put that? I don't remember writing that. Weird, whatever. <laughs> Hadal coin. I guess that's there. I won't ask questions. Uh, we've also unlocked three pulls from the Stein. Uh, so Eric, if you want to like, prep, I'm like, prepped. Prep that. Oh, sh- he's so ready. 
with fingers tented. That was hot. I liked it. Oh, nice. <laughs> ready. Eric, the, don't be bashful. Just when accept the fly, our I moment. Can't, I can't when the fly hands come boy. out, you know it's I'm trouble. sorry, Eric. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. I apologize. I am just worried about the, this orgy that's going to inevitably happen. <laughs> and I just, I'm just, I'm nervous. <laughs> like worried or like excited? Scared. Quarantine yeah, is no, like horny, scary. you know? <laughs> Man, yeah, it's also is sad. a very horny game. So like, I get it. <laughs> That's true. Very like raw sexual energy. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. just like the raw sexual energy of like a sex icon like Tim Blake Nelson. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the more I Googled him, I was like, I'm like into this. This is fun. This it, now is my personality. That's like, the fun thing about dreams is you're like, I wasn't into this, but now I am. Yeah. Okay. All right. Subconscious said so. So let's yep. go. Right. I trust. I trust and do not verify like the saying goes. Uh, so you guys all have a plus five to a single roll of your choice. Thanks to chat. And ooh, they unlocked that for you. So you're welcome in advance. Thanks everyone say thank you chat. Thank you chat. Thank, thank you, you chat. Because shit Happy was going to go different. Happy birthday Let, no, no chat. more of that. Oh. <laughs> When is Chad's birthday? How old is Chad? It's Chad's. <laughs> well, Chad is at least 13, otherwise they can't talk. <laughs> That's fair. Actually, I think they need to be 18 to be in here. Oh. I, think, I think we have our mature filter on. Man, I do a bunch of cussing if we don't. Yeah. I do a lot of swears, but. Yeah, oh, we well. do. We just talked ah! about orgies. <laughs> like Every time. That could just be like a type of citrus fruit. You don't know. Orange, oranges <laughs> stops the scurvy for the pirates. Here you go. They need That's some citrus are all that shit. <laughs> I like this. 23 minutes in, haven't done the look at the game yet. Yeah. We should do that. Uh, just as a quick recap, uh, last week you guys wrapped up your business with Floralock Opti, who fulfilled on her end of the bargain uh, in exchange for one of the three uh, not Hadal, sorry, Mizrana Codices. Uh, she provided a literal guide to get you as close to the elemental plane of fire's planar gate as possible. Enter Jasper J. Bilgewater, who is now a captain after an exciting adventure when you guys stopped at an all-inclusive island called New Horizon that you thought was going to be very cool. It didn't have alcohol, but what it lacked in booze it made up for in like animal. Thank you for weirdness. <laughs> moving everybody's around. Why'd you turn your cam off, Terry? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, happened? great. I'm not changing it. You're you're playing Addy today. <laughs> oh, what a twist. I see. So All right, sorry. Everyone just trade. I meant to just change my background to New Horizons, but it didn't work out. Mm. <laughs> Well, too bad. You're, you're Addie Bohemio now. Okay. Do your best Irish accent because I clearly cannot as sure. prompted last week. I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. No, only you. God damn, the highlighter says No, wrong. the Irish accent, all of a sudden when I do it, it just sounds like I'm in um, Jamaica, you know? Right. Oh. Basically the same. That happens but when it, I try to do Australian, I think, and then I go, oh, no, 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 this is the opposite of what I, what I intended. I just latch on to Conor McGregor as hard as I possibly can mm, to McGregor. try to do Physically? my Irish accent. Well, like that Yoda? too. Yeah, just right exactly. Off back. That's fair. Uh, training montage. <laughs> so after oh, defeating uh, <clears throat> the evil semi-rabid nooks, uh, you guys were able to wish on some stars, do some cool stuff. Jasper is all like returning to your ship, the Fair Juliet. There's a there's a big ass ship right next to it, and mm -hmm. Jasper feels a strong sense of ownership to it. Uh, let's just pick up there as you guys row from your dinghy back to the Fair Juliet. What do you do? Well, uh, that was. Uh... I, I've had better vacations. I had worse. <clears throat> I had better, though. Nice. And uh, as you guys get back on the boat, Fair Julia just starts, like, the, actually, because there's a little bit of a radius around it, the moment you hit her, like, 60-foot radius, you hear her, like, just immediately invade your guys' brain. 
something she clearly got from EO. She just, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Are you back? Are you back? Yeah, Someone yeah, say yeah. something. Yeah, so, yeah. On, talk to I'm, me. I'm back. I'm, we're back. <laughs> we're back to do it. Okay. Um, so I was very mad that you did not let me be the captain. So uh, I was trying to look around and then I saw something, I think it was like, but not my eyes, but I like closed my eyes. I don't have eyes, but I saw something and then I closed my eyes and I made a wish. And then I wished for the captain to be back. So the captain's back Aww. besides the quarters. Uh, it is, um, is is everyone who the captain went off with a few folk? Are they all back? Um, yes. Okay, good. I was just gonna say if Captain got teleported back here without Rose, that would <gasps> oh, she would be so mad. No, it's a good thing you you wished specifically in that case. Yeah, she it's just it. burns the ship down <laughs> yeah. just immediately. Where's my baby? <laughs> I uh, said the captain, but then all, but the captain is all three of them. Mm, and Taika and, and then Taika's metal, back. And Taika's then the baby. Back. That's the captain. They're always together. Fair enough. Hmm. And Taika, Taika's back too. Taika, yeah. I like Taika the most. <laughs> oh. That's fair. That's fair. Take us okay. like me. The rest of us are hard to love. <laughs> oh, that's not true. You just let me be the captain more and then I'll love you. No, we had a vote, Juliet. That's how that works. I should have more vote because I'm bigger. No, that's not how that works. That's how it works in the United States. Well, that's so you're <laughs> saying I'm hard to love? That's what I just heard. Oh, yeah, you would find the one thing I said and twist my <laughs> words, Eos. Are we still not friends right now? <laughs> I, I don't know. Did you still kill my god? <laughs> and uh, Addy There's a lot point more baggage to unload off of this dinghy, I think. Whoa, just just down a couple notches in that volume. <laughs> <laughs> Addy, you hear uh, Fair Julia in your ear. Captain, 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 I made everyone else come back to the ship. You you made them? Mm-hmm. Well, I can't make them do anything. Maybe you should be captain. <gasps> Am I the captain now? No, it, that was like a oh. more of a, a dig at them than it was any sort of real offer. Um, What's dig? You know, like uh, a slight, uh, an, a, 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 a personal attack. Oh, okay, okay. On who they are as people and their characters oh, and our relationship towards each other. I've missed you. You've missed me? Yeah. Oh, well, um... Good. <laughs> you just you you feel Juliet just like not. See, you understand me. I think a little bit more right now, Juliet. Do you understand what it feels like now to to love the captain? What are you yeah, talking I've, about? I've you didn't never... hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that was just for me and the captain. We have a relationship you don't know about. Yeah, I fuck a boat. <laughs> yes. Ship what it. is fuck? I ship it. Shut the fuck up, Ruben. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. How dare you? Yeah, no, I, Ruben. I leave now. That's fine. I leave now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Addy, would you like to come out to the ship and see that uh, for the sake of this episode, Trislin's just got re-drunk again, and she's just going to go to bed. She's just in bed now. So she passes by, like, gives a little salute to Addie, and then walks into her room and shuts the door. Someone needs to get that girl a sandwich. Oh, she had one. Oh. It was real good. Yeah. Oh, and she's still that drunk? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Well, usually a sandwich helps me clear the fog a bit, but all right. It was kind of next level, so, you know. It was like an alcohol sandwich? No. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea, though. Maybe we can make a recipe for that. I learned a bunch of recipes while we were like out on that like island or whatever. <laughs> I have like shot. all these all these cards. Like they gave me all these little note cards that have recipes. So I'm gonna try to make some things. Maybe. Wait, uh, I, where did where did you go? 
Oh, we stopped at this island to, to on our ways to where we're going. We thought it would stop here. This is this is Jasper, <laughs> and I'm still on the the long boat. I haven't come onto the ship yet because uh, permission to come aboard, Captain. Who the fuck is that? That's Jasper. I just told you. No, okay, but who is it? Oh, that, okay, How yeah. How come every time I go away for like five minutes and I come back and you've got some stranger on our fucking boat and you're telling him all your personal stories and all of our plans for the no, future? Don't. We didn't tell him no personal stories. We they made tell a you deal. personal stories? No, listen. They told that, me some personal stories, not, but- It was also, you were gone for more than five minutes, so you I You know think what that... I mean. It got relatively, relative, relativity. It's not what you think. We made a deal behind your back with a lich dragon uh, that involved giving her more power, and then she gave us this person. That is an accurate representation of events. Okay, so it's it's worse than I thought. Is that worse? No, yeah. actually, we're, we're we got information, and now we're going to be a little closer to like ending the whole thing that we're supposed to be ending with the God killer situation. We got some good information. We might have had to give a little bit of information to to, to Torlock Opti about the um the codices, you know. But not uh, all of it, right? No, we gave we gave that dragon uh, one of them. One of the three. Which In one? One of them. Don't you think maybe one is more useful to her than I think the other we did ones? consider that, but you need them kind of all together to make it make sense. It really doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense if you just read one. It's like uh, um, uh, partial information. It's like you can't get half pregnant, right? Uh, that didn't sound right. Yeah, what a what a interesting. Uh, I mean, I trust them up. on this matter as temporary captain, cause, uh, cause it's all paper to me. I can't read none of them. Uh, so uh, they says you only need the, you need, you need all three. So one ain't gonna do you none. So I said, well, then give them one. Did the librarian agree about that? Yeah, she she brokered the deal. She actually had some history, uh, and there's something you should probably know about that oh, yeah, librarian. No, I, I felt that sexual tension. Right? <laughs> it was very palpable. Palpable. Uh, I, I, yeah, palpable. Yeah. Pal, palpable. Palpable. Okay. Yeah, I understand yeah. most words, but I don't know what that one is. Palpable. It made me feel different inside. That's what it means. So, um, not bad, like good, but uh, okay. I Anyway, but uh, so she's a, she's also a dragon. The, right, like, I was there when oh, she. I'm sorry, I forgot. Burst into her dragon form, but it was very. Thank you for reminding me. I almost forgot. <laughs> I feel like you're mocking me right now, and maybe what? this is like, remember, Juliet. This is a dig. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if uh, if the librarian, Catherine or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, Kaylin. Kaylin signed off on it, then she probably knows best about the codices more than we do. So as long as she signed off on it, that's what you're telling me. Yeah, she, she's the one that brokered the deal. All right. Okay. And you down in the boat. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Where are your like credentials? Uh, you got, have you got papers or like a certificate or credentials. Well, I typically walk around with some sort of identification. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll check my pockets and I do have the noble background. So I assume I do actually have like yeah, something. Yeah, absolutely. What do you let have? Look at, let me look. You don't have to look at, just tell me. Just tell me. <laughs> oh, I've got a driver's <laughs> license. I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay. Driver's yeah. License. When when a fellow GM is like, I don't, I, let me look at my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, what? man. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if I'd actually walk around with my. Actually, I, no. I went. Do you have your entertainer's report. pack? And I like have my passport. Um, and so I will. Uh, yeah, I'll show your off. Your passport. What a fucking nerd. I have my own, <laughs> own Halloween horror nights badge. Yeah, right. <laughs> I my do too. Library card. <laughs> <laughs> you would this, have like this. No here's my Vaughn's card. If you want to identify, uh, this Anna, is my community college ID when I had an afro. Everyone seal. made a joke at the same. 
<laughs> yeah, it was real bad. Mine wasn't a joke. Mine was like trying to help, but it's oh. fine. You know, on a yeah. Costco card, you can put your a nickname instead of an, your real name. Wait, so what? my Costco card just said Skull Kicker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I will produce the <laughs> Man, uh, requisite papers. Yeah. Um, mm. Hopefully laminated in the salt air uh, to hopefully prove and verify who I say I am. Yeah. Right. These are fine vellum like notes of Mark with like sealed with a noble house. But he's still like all the way down in the dingy, right? Yeah. I this haven't come up yet. In the air. Well, get up here. I'm not oh, going to. Well, all right. To all over? right. Oh, no, hold on just a moment. And I will climb the rope ladder up and adjust my, my coat and, and with a little bit of a flourish, present my papers and put my hands behind my back. Nice. All right. Vanna, make a history check for me since both you and Eo spent a good amount of time in Waterdeep, actually. <laughs> hurry, hurry. That was make that, weird. Make that, check, okay. make that check before she changes her mind. <laughs> okay. She gonna make me roll in? Twelve. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this looks like something, something water deep. You recognize like these types of papers being passed back and forth between the noble houses in water deep. It's their whole like. Their whole thing is that there's lots of nobility and they give a fuck about that and you curved the whole the whole situation. So yeah, it seems legit. All right, so what is a, a she like pushes the papers back at him. So what is a, a fine upper class gentleman such as yourself doing in doing in uh, cohorts with poor Lock Opti? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's a bit of a funny story, but I'll summarize it for you. I which don't is basically funny things. So if you could really just get <laughs> it, done it. The Keep guys I got, mm. is that why I feel like? Oh. I made a joke once and no one laughed, so <laughs> I I don't like it anymore. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I criticized the joke and she hit me with an oar. <laughs> I wouldn't I want that. I knocked out two of his teeth. Essentially, what's been happening is uh, I've got a bit of a history with greater beings, some of them of demonic or genie types. Um, and sometimes I get referred to other uh, greater beings, such as blue and white dragons. Um, and uh, they use me for certain jobs, and I'm a bit of a expert and a bit of a... a um, I'm able to get out of scraps myself. And so I was called in to help with this particular difficulty. Now, what I, from what I understand from uh, Dirty Hank, um, as we've done a little bit of research in the past here at, uh, at the New Horizons Resort, we were looking into entries into the elemental plane of fire for, so that you could kill a god. Um, no, I you might... need to go you to said, the- f You we said- no personal information. What is that? That's not a personal information. Our, our like underlying main quest is not personal information. Is it? I I didn't think it was actually personal information because we've been dealing with quite a few people along the way. I know that's I, my point. <laughs> I assume personal oh. information would be like me telling them about. I, I don't think I have any personal information. Uh, but if I had some, like tell him about that. <laughs> I haven't told him, you know, how I've been trying to plan this wedding and how I want things I to be beautiful. I didn't know that. I mm. didn't know that. No, you're planning the wedding? I, I've been trying to get together and talk, but you like kind of pushed me away. And I think maybe you think I'm trying to tell you a joke, but I'm not trying to make oh, anything it, funny. We kind of have a lot going on right now. I understand whole... it's busy and there's a lot happening, but I feel like there's always a lot happening and we've we've we're always very busy um ugh, my mouth just got like dry <laughs> <laughs> it's the salt um, air probably i uh i just got nervous i feel like i'm proposing to you again and i just want to make sure that you're still on board because i feel like i everyone's on board Thank that you. Is true. Thank that you, is Juliet. Thank you, Juliet. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think now is uh, it's the top priority. Is it's a wedding? Okay, but but it doesn't we have to We already have the baby. What what do you what else do you want? Right, but I want to make an honest woman of you. 
I'm not honest. No, not in the <laughs> She wants moment. to make an honest woman out of you. Oh, this we already neither, did that. Rose neither, is honest. Neither she came out there. of me. That true. Cool. That true. Honest woman made. When that Perfect. baby's hungry, she cry. Uh, she when... is very straightforward. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like I haven't expressed myself the way I wanted to, so I'm going to stop. Anyway. That's, a, that's uh, what I found, is if you're having trouble expressing your feelings, don't. Hmm. <laughs> but I feel like you wanted to talk more about feelings back there, um, you know, Dirty Hank, but... I feel like I'm in a pickle right now. There's a there's a big thing ahead of us, but I want to. Oh my! There's so many goals, but I I feel I. Oh God. Okay. You better lie okay. down, Eosh. You get kind of fainty when you get like this. <laughs> it's just a bad time. Should <laughs> I come back later? <laughs> oh, a little late. Okay, so you're an indentured servant to a multitude of uh, demonic beings. All right. Hmm. So you have a special skill set from being their little bitch repeatedly. All right, mm. I, I'm following. That is Along one that. way of... Sure, we'll go with that. Anyway, I was That's called in to be a specialist on this particular venture because you needed someone with some amount of uh, uh, intelligence and knowledge yeah. of the planes, and I happen to have some of that. Right, and, uh, so... I'm, I'm a bit of a soldier of fortune, and so I'm... Uh, I don't know what that obliged. means. Mercenary. I'm a. Uh, oh, uh, they uh, pay you. Well, the dragons pay you. The dragons and the demons and the genies and whoever else happens to need my services. They, they, pay, they pay you typically in favors or in boons or. So they of don't kinds. pay you. So you're an no, oh, no, servant. I'm, I'm quite rich as well. You're. You're. Are you? Well, you're there. I, you're like their little you errand boy. Check my bona fides there. You'll see that I have my own uh, noble house in Waterdeep. Oh, um, yeah. Quite a few summer homes and, and whatnot. Listen, it's a tough line well, of work. Well, that sounds nice. It's not bad. Maybe, it's not bad. Maybe, I could um, give you a reference if you're interested. I have a good, I'm just uh, thinking of locations for the wedding and maybe a nice summer home <laughs> would be a really nice place for... Um, a nuptial event. I'm not going to go to this fucker's summer home so that a big old demon who didn't, he didn't get the job finished for it come and jizzes all over our flowers. Okay, that's, <laughs> that was really far, but maybe we're very good at, 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 at clearing out bad things or evil things. Maybe we, that would be an exchange so we could get the venue maybe for free or like that would be our exchange. It could be a fair trade. We could but help. But he works for free. We wouldn't have to pay him. Well, sometimes well, we're not some, paying of him right my, now. some of my folks that I work for, I, I work for in what they call exposure. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hear that that's you can die you... from exposure. Yeah. So sometimes I do actually work for gold or platinum or whatever you need. But... Right. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right. So the fire plane where is that where we're right indeed the elemental plane of fire great so... interesting place quite hot if you can believe that you know i can't even 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 for like <laughs> my kind of like jokes because i tend to make kind of bad dad they call them dad jokes because i'm a dad but i feel like um that was bad oh i'm horrifically insufferable <laughs> Yeah. So, you're looking for an entrance into the elemental plane of fire. As the GM, I will remind you that he's here to help, so please give him anything. I mean... Give him do, what? You, give him you anything? You do what you want. I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. So, give you're looking... You're, you're essentially <laughs> looking for what, what amounts to a gate. A planner gate that would... Um, sort of bridge you between the current material plane and the elemental planes on the outer rim of mm -hmm, the... Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to get You've to the me. right place. <laughs> Fair enough. What, what I want you to imagine, and I suppose at this point, I can use one of my spells, can't I? Ooh. Uh, I Nancy. Will, <laughs> I will use prestidigitation to do a small magic trick and make a one cubic foot uh, um, sort of diorama of the uh, the planes. Yeah, nice. What the planes look like. 
And so in the middle here, you see the small center yeah. section. It's <laughs> not gonna, it's, it doesn't, it's not physical. Hey, hey, I can't. Until the Swinton shit, I love it. So the center plane is the material plane, which is where we are. And everything sort of revolves around that, which is why we tend to be so self-centered. There's also the shadow fell. I'm sorry, what does that mean? Which one? Which part? Self-centered. You're the center. You're saying that we're self-centered? Well, there's many I beings. haven't known you very long and you, you're calling me. No, no, not us. Not us. I mean, people in general. Eos, Humans. you just made that comment about you. You're self-centered. I don't understand. I feel like you're not listening to me right now. <laughs> I apologize, but at the center. I accept your apology. And to be fair, being self-centered is actually correct because we are at the center. So at the center, you have um, the elemental, uh, I'm sorry, you have the, the material plane with the shadow fell and the Feywild sort of sandwiched, like a sandwich. Um, and then around that, you've got the elemental planes. And then around that, you've got the outer planes. So we need to make a sandwich? No, no, no. Hey, the sandwich has been made. Heard. We need to move hey, from Jasper, the parts of the sandwich. I need you to do me a favor and make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Actually, what's your spellcasting modifier? Uh, intelligence. Okay, uh, make it an intelligence saving throw. Oh, save, 21. Yeah, okay. Uh, with a 21, this is very easy magic for you. And yet, like, as you're explaining this and like barely paying attention to your spell, you look down halfway through and uh, the area that you commonly understand to be like that sort of hazy uh, distinction between the nine hells in the abyss seems to turn dark and smoky and spread and you're not doing that but with a 21 i'm gonna say you can if you would like to you can rest it back under your control so it looks exactly the way you expect to again uh but your spell was going off like was doing its own thing it was hmm. evolving on its own for a sec interesting all right did anyone else notice that uh, I don't know. Did you guys notice? Were you paying attention? We, we were need all roll? staring roll at that. it. You could just tell we, me. Yeah, yeah so we were all staring. But we also uh, probably don't have as good of an idea what that is supposed to look like. I imagine, Maybe we yeah. thought that was Hank normal. thought that's what hmm. it was supposed to do. I'll sort of like erase it back to where it's supposed to. It doesn't normally do that. That's a bit weird. Oh, something happened with your spell? Yeah, that's, um, anyway, uh, this is the part we want to go to, and I'll point over to the fire, the elemental plane of fire. Yeah, but um, it looked like, like, but like an so abyss. it's so small. How are we supposed to go there when we're both so much bigger? <laughs> it's an elemental plane for ants, is what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is a representation. It's a scale model. And as long sort as you of... wake me up before you go-go. Okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you landed all over it. <laughs> fortunately, we made some headway in knowing where we need to go uh, in terms of the gate. Uh, there's a physical location on this plane uh, located around the area of what I used to know as Salt Marsh, um, oh. where I think that there is a planner gate that can take you and maybe me, if we're all going, uh, to uh, the elemental plane of fire. Uh, just so you guys all know, for the last six months, it's been pretty common knowledge that it's not Salt Marsh anymore. Well, maybe like the last year, that it's not Salt Marsh. It's been the Republic of Tottsville, and that's pretty common knowledge. And interesting that he didn't know that. So yeah, all we have to do is get to Salt Marsh, um, and and uh, we you should mean be the good Republic to go. of Tottsville. The what? The what now? The Republic of Tottsville. Are you, you're pulling my leg again, aren't you? You're messing Have with you me. Have you not been no, around? I have not the... touched your leg one time. <laughs> I, mm. I wouldn't touch it either. That would be kind of strange. I'm, I, I, I have a betrothal. Do I know what the me. Republic of Tottsville is? Uh, go ahead and make a history check for me. Mm. I mean, I'm good at history, so we'll see. Oh, 15. Uh, with the 15, that name doesn't necessarily ring a bell, but in your extra planar travels, you get snippets of news. And this links up to a very weird piece of information you gathered right before you were dropped off in Toralok Opti's lair. Mm. Something about a person named Tater, 
that was associated with Tottsville mm. and his dealings with uh, elemental beings. So yeah, you're able to kind of put it together that like maybe it's undergone some sort of name change, but like you don't have any direct knowledge of it yet. Fair enough. I'll I'll sort of like take that information in, but try to keep my my hard exterior and be like, oh, it's must okay, Tottsville it is then. Um, so Tottsville, oh. formerly Salt Marsh. But I will jump in and say you didn't hear it as the Republic of Tottsville. You heard about uh, the Tottsville Empire. So very oh. specifically. That okay. Was a little bit of a difference. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I guess we have to get to um, the city formerly known as currently known as, uh, you know, whatever you call it these days. So that's, uh, it's it's somewhere around that area. And being an elemental plane of fire gate, uh, it's, mo it's uh, most likely gonna be around volcanic activity, um, something like that. Well, that seems like it'll be pretty easy to find. Our ship now does the sky thing, so we should be able to get a pretty good bird's eye view of Anything volcanic. Juliet is a fine vessel. I'm a good ship. Absolutely. Hi, Jasper. Hi, how are you? Did you miss did you? you miss everyone? I did. Um everyone. Mm. Don't answer that. I have a quick There's question. A hesitation actually. And now I have questions. Oh. Um the one that's weird is mean to me. No, I like her too. Um, <laughs> can, I like we, you, you all very on... much. I would kill for you. Thank you. Oh my god. I am very curious, though. You were out here in the harbor while we were on land. Um, what? Where did that come from? And I'll point over to the other ship. Okay. So remember how I can't see things that aren't me, but then I wished on a thing? Mm -hmm. I can see that. <gasps> oh, that's what? what's going around? Is that why I got this pen? <laughs> you got a pen? Yeah, I got this pen. What does that do? I don't know yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. Now you wished upon something, Juliet. You wished yes. upon a star. And did you wish for that pen, Hank? Yeah. I wished for my own ship. Hmm. So maybe that's my ship. It's a good ship. Yeah? Did it introduce I like the itself face to of you? It. Um. It's very shy. Okay. Not shy. Not, t it's not, Nervous, not, it's a, edgy, I don't know. Okay. I don't want to be friends yet, but sure. I'll keep trying. <laughs> well, me. I don't, Ju Juliet, it's it best not to, the, you know, force friendship. If someone doesn't want to talk to you, you should wait and then, and let them do the, the approach you. It's a, it, just going after them, that's not the way to do it. That well, sounds smart and right, but not what I'm going to do. I just want to share all of my feelings with this new ship and they will accept my feelings. Well, that's fair. That's not how it works sometimes because I want to share my feelings like all the time with people, but most most of the time they um they uh they don't they don't want them. Uh go ahead and roll an intelligence check to realize that yeah, she's like you. <laughs> she learned it from you. Oh no. <laughs> My poor baby. If I want to say something, I just invade you. their mind. Natural 20. Natural yeah. 20. This ship is what? your child. Oh, God. Oh. Two babies. Oh, no. Two mamas. One daddy. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Juliet. I feel like this is my fault that you... What? Well, nothing. Good luck. No, it's fine. Thank you. I'll tell you what, I think that this is the ship of my dreams across the way. Maybe it can be the ship of yours and just not the too distant future. I can make the introductions, I'm oh, sure. Thank you, Jasper. I voted for you to be captain. Well, thank you. That means a lot. And I get to be captain over there, it seems. Oh, um, okay, okay, okay. So I suppose we'll sail together. You don't need to have me on your ship anymore, uh, Captain. Um, and once we get there, uh, hopefully we can find someone whom we can uh, sort of point us in the right direction. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be someone who, uh, 
oh, I don't know, speaks one of my languages, like uh, like giant or something, who can point us to some people who can go in the right direction to take us to the elemental well, we plane got books. of fire. You want giant? We got books. Days in giant. You have giant books? Yeah, we killed a giant. I saw I got this axe, uh, and then we got some books. Yeah, uh, the moment he shows you his axe, uh, yeah, it's covered in fire giant runes. Like a thing that belongs to a fire giant, not a thing made by fire giants that they will sell to Mm. other beings. It's special. Wow, that is a, that's a hell of an axe, Hank. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's fire. Like it, it, it catch fire. Yeah, I believe you. I got it because I thought it'd be good for chopping down trees, but it's good for killing things too. It, you gonna you, ask him more questions? <laughs> I I might. Um, how long have you had that for? About a year. Okay, so you're pretty confident that you know like all of the things it does. Yeah, when I hit real good, it caught it catches fire. Now you, uh, Eos, are you wearing your armor by the way? Uh, probably. You know you have fire giant armor, right? <laughs> That's oh. the thing you've just been wearing the whole time. Hmm. Sometimes it just makes me feel comfortable. Are you wearing it now? Sure. Okay. Uh, then for the sake of this reveal, I'll say that like you keep it pretty obscured because it tends to glow like orangey gold at inopportune times and you occasionally get yelled at by the crew for being ostentatious, so you keep your cloak over it. But if you were to so now reveal that you also have a piece of fire, like fire giant equipment, it might be relevant to the party. Oh, I also have (laughs) this. Okay, well, you, um, those were quite, those are quite the items. You took these off of a fire giant, you said. Yeah, we, we, we killed it. He, he was trying to be, he looked like not a fire giant, but then we killed him and then he turned into a fire giant. Mm. Okay. It was, it was in disguise, you know? Yeah, he was digging in a mountain and then we murdered him. Where was, where were they digging? Uh, it's by where the birds live. The era, but like the people era, birds. The era the Coca Cola. The era, the era Coca. Coca. Gotcha. Coca. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Jasper, far, make it. Far from here. Sorry. Yeah. Jasper, make an intelligence check for me. Just a general. Uh, let's make it history. We'll put an actual thing on. 13. Yeah. Uh, with a 13, you know that like the majority of the era Coca kingdoms are, uh, they're like to the northeast of Neverwinter. Mm. and uh far right from, next to it yeah very far from here but next yeah. to a mountain range that's known for being particularly seismic okay and active in a in a volcanic capacity do we think do do, do i think that that is the entrance uh that well you would know that there are multiple entrances but because they're always near like hot Not spots it. Like they mm-hmm. can collapse and like get buried all the time. So there's multiple. And you know that one of the, the few that like seems to have stood the test of time mm. was over by uh, what you knew to be salt marsh. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very likely that this fire giant was looking for a different entrance. Well, it, I, it seems to me that we can glean some good information from the, uh, this was a book or a journal or what? Yeah, um... it, they had a book. I can't read it. Uh, and then they had uh, the armor and the, the, the axe. Well, it was a sword before, but then we I got it turned into an axe. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, we had you some mind? work done. Oh. Sorry. No, go you of quite go uh, right it's ahead. It's fine. I want to hear what you had to say. I Sorry. was just gonna have. I just was gonna take a look at the book. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Mind my. Uh, Did my I want to interrupt? I'm sorry. I'm very. Okay. No, no, sure. you're quite all right. Are you guys gonna get him the book? Yeah, Trislin has it. I'll go get it. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, you don't have to like roll anything for it, but you go and take the book from Trislin's stuff. Trislin, and- I'm taking your book. Don't move, but that's okay. <laughs> her tail twitches slightly, but that's not like the main part of her, so I'm sure it's fine. Uh, okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> and yeah, you are handed off the book. Uh, I have forwarded you some info mm-hmm. about what's inside it, so do with that what you will. 
Interesting, interesting. So I'll, I'll spend a few moments looking through this book um, and say, well, uh, well, there's, there's some very interesting information here. Um, a lot of the, uh, what's, what's in here is, is plans, essentially, about the fire giants uh, perhaps seceding or attempting to take over the giant hierarchy, which is uh, known as the Ordinary. Um, and they sort of want to sort of take over from the storm giants and become the top giants. Um, it's pretty, pretty wild uh, to think about that level of political intrigue amongst giants. Um, but uh, I mean, if you say so, and I'll fl keep flipping <laughs> through the book and be like, "This is some, this is some heretical stuff." If it fell into the wrong giant hands, but heretical, uh, heretical. I like but, that. But uh, uh, the, the, relevant to your interests, um, it does seem like there is uh, a, an entrance to the elemental plane of fire um, referenced in here. Uh, there's a vapor cave a uh, couple, couple of days north of, uh, what was it called? Tots? Tots land? The Republic Tots of Tottsville. Republic of Tottsville. A couple of, the couple world. a little bit north of, uh, of what I knew as salt marsh, but uh, not particularly well, familiar with that place. Will we need smelling salts for this vapor cave? Is my question. I I, I have I not packed know. them this time. Okay. We could uh, we get it. Making a note. Well, we could uh, we could certainly pick it up on the way to get. Smelling. <laughs> All right. While we're doing this, Eric, I need you to make three pulls from the stein. One for Ruben, one for Vanna, and one for Terry. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about... Um, uh, what is Jasper's favorite food? <laughs> Jasper's favorite food. Ooh. Um, something fried. Funnel cake, Funnel let's cake. say. Yes. That's a great choice. The target becomes deathly allergic to his favorite food. Oh, no! no. <laughs> I'm so and the sad. best part is, I don't know why you would know that now. So I that'll wouldn't. just be a fun future thing for you. Yeah, that's gonna be a rough day at the fair <laughs> when you die. <laughs> when you die oh. from eating your favorite food. Yeah. Ah, uh, finally, after all this time, funnel cake. <laughs> you go to a magic mountain. Picture it. <laughs> Some might call it a volcano. Yep. <laughs> There's lots of attractions there. It's gonna feel like a real roller coaster, but then you're gonna need a snack. Wow. Terry, <laughs> you're Terry out of control. On one tonight, I'm here for it. Out of control. Let's well, do Terry's now. Okay. Uh, all normal doors, secret doors, uh, portcullises, etc. Within uh, a close burst of ten, so I assume like ten feet, swing open. <laughs> so just like all the doors and and like I guess window shutters just go poof and burst so, open. Uh, Why is everything I've, opening, huh? Uh, hold on, let, let me. <laughs> so Please. I imagine you're having this conversation probably in the captain's quarters. Uh, and as you're talking, literally all of the doors and windows fly open and you just hear the gut, like the, the belly laughter of uh, Fair Juliet laughing at this really stupid Magic Mountain joke. <laughs> like, man, she is her father's daughter. And she's just cracking up, and they're all like doing the like, ah, 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 she loves it. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> all right. Is that, can we like uh, make that never happen again? Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and as she chuckles, like the doors like sl and windows slowly like shut again, but they like pop open a little bit because she's still kind of laughing to herself. Oh, that's great. It's okay, Juliet. You might have startled everyone else, but I, I understand what you were doing. It was nice. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, that so the good. third one, uh, who, who, this is for, for Patty. Yeah. Uh, the caster's shadow makes obscene gestures uh, when uh, they are not looking. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> This is now amazing. Both, now uh, both Tristan and I are our shadow transformers. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that one for a little bit so that hasn't okay. triggered yet. Okay. Okay. So weird. Okay. Love so it. 
you guys know that New Horizons is actually on the same coast as Tottsville. So you guys are only a couple, you're probably like a three day sail away from like where you guys all met in Salt Marsh. And uh, Addy, if you would like to consult your maps, you can yeah. make an, a general intelligence check Yeah. to see if you can locate where you might believe those vapor caves to be. Uh, do I get an advantage with those like? Yes. Okay. Wait, no, you have to use all of those stinking rerolls. No, but I've got my special maps. What's the point of the special maps? Yeah, I don't get advantage. Fair. What's you're the point right. of all that thieving we did if it didn't go help us? That's fair. Okay. I know you're gonna love this though, Bria, because I got a natural 20. <gasps> so. Okay. So you have spent a ton of time looking at these maps, like especially when you were in Waterdeep and kind of waiting for Taika to like get her shit together so you guys could come back. Uh, pouring over the coast of Salt Marsh, you see like a particularly rocky formation. And there's a, like, there's layers of these maps of like thin onion paper that like, like stack on each other. And one of them was like, it wasn't just mountainous terrain. There was something different about it. And I think with a natural 20, you realize that this is a little more tied to like volcanic activity and like earthquake mountain ranges and like hot springs and geysers. And there's a little outcropping of that, a two day sail north of Salt Marsh. You have perfectly pinpointed where the vapor caves would be. Um, and then that's a two day sail. What's like a two day fly there? Uh, I'll say or, half. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it'll be half of whatever that. So okay. if I said so five days one, total, one, two, three, then two and a half days to get there. Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Eric. I don't know math. I Here's don't the know thing, math. though. Only one of your two ships can fly. I'm going to say, should I? Hmm. I, are you really going to be able to man that ship by yourself? Well, if it's the ship of my dreams, I certainly am. Um, but What's your um, name? In your dreams, name? you're Their all name. alone? <laughs> In my dreams, I can make the ship go with uh, some 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 of my ingenious artificers' upgrades, where I can sort of have clockwork. Uh, oh yeah, crew. you should have seen it. He he had he had one of them fiddles, and he made it walk on its own, and then it was also a cannon. It's true. That is a that is a true story. Right, sounds practical. He killed Very, a man with it. Well, a, a raccoon. A raccoon, yes. A raccoon, oh, raccoon man. man. You killed a raccoon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like a big one and it wore pants. I'll tell you what. I think That's that I can weird. convince I can convince it, uh the proprietor. Sports. I can convince the proprietor of uh New Horizons to let me remain in their harbor uh for the time being, maybe rent a slip here while we take the obviously much more deft and agile Juliet. Uh to the Are you uh, hitting the, on our boat? I'm being nice to the host. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Jasper. She does appreciate it sometimes. Can you tell this ship to follow us? Sure. Like, you can tell can... it where to go, right? I can I tell the ship where to go? Is that a thing I can do? I mean, you said this was the ship of your dreams. Sure. Yes, absolutely. that's absolutely a thing. Can I you can tell do. your clockwork crew where to head? Sure. Yeah. I can tell my clockwork crew where to head. Cool. In my dreams. And tell them I'm I said hi. All alone. And <laughs> my tiny robots follow me wherever I go. <laughs> there are weirder dreams. Well, I yeah, don't but need... not many sadder. Oh, that's my, fair. <laughs> the crew of my dreams is, uh, I would have to go pick them up from various locations around the coast, but uh, they aren't like all Like a here. league of extraordinary gentlemen sort of situation. And, and ladies, yes. Uh, I would probably ask Malaclamus to join my crew, uh, Testudo, uh, a couple others that I know of. Totinos? Totinos. Yes, Totinos. Oh, um, yes. I will, I will have, I will Sir have Totino's my- Totinos pizza rolls. I will have my <laughs> ship I follow with me. any of these people? <laughs> oh, shit. Probably. Roll for it, baby. History yeah, I check. See, I want to see if Hank I- gets around. Yeah, I've been Hank. on a lot of ships. He's a ship slut. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. Okay, yeah. I'm going to roll history. What do we like get? I uh, 14. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> name- who was the first person you named? Malaclamus. 
All right. Uh, what does Dirty Hank know from being on a boat with Malaclamus? Sure, Malaclamus. That's a name, by the way. Malaclamus is a turtle uh, who oh. would have been my, who would be my, um, we'll say gunner captain, gunnery nice. captain. Um, oh yeah, it, I know. I know Mount Claimant. We served. We served on the Queen's Head for 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 a spell about a season. Uh, yeah, yeah. You do good, good with a gun. Uh, farts like like all hell in his sleep. Well, that's <laughs> that has a lot to do with the uh, the local diet. But uh, I think that uh, he's that a lot of sauerkraut. Oh, I mean, it's it's but it, it has to do with the total digestive tract a bit. Um, but you know, but it's, it's, uh, being on a ship, it's quite all right. We all end up eating the same thing anyway. Anyway, Malaclamus is a great man. Uh, probably would try to find him around the, uh, the, the, um, maybe Port Nianzaru. I don't know. Maybe yeah, somewhere. Yeah, he got, he got another, like, 15 years before he got to go back and have kids. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. I'll, uh, but yes, we will, uh. I'll, I'll try to pick up my my crew on the way back, but it seems like it's pretty well handled here. Nice. Okay, so uh, what are your guys' plans? Do you want to, like, fly up and over? Yeah. I would like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, please. Cool. <laughs> we would like to fly, like, we would like to fly, like to fly, like to fly. I hate you, Terry. Second door to the left, back. straight on the morning. Well, you do a shadow joke, and I'm just thinking about yeah, Peter Pan, and that's literally all I've had in my head since then. <laughs> well, then on that note, we will say that, like, as you guys are sailing uh, through the skies on the way there, um, at some point late at night when Addie is, like, by herself, uh, not really steering, but still at the, like, at the wheel, uh, she's looking out into the distance and doesn't notice that her shadow like has begun to like el elongate and move around the ship and is inspecting the little runes that were carved in by uh caitlin when she was there and it returns back to normal as you like walk back into the captain's quarters for the night sweet but we'll say uh go ahead wait wait, wait. oh go ahead can Rose notice? Ooh, yeah, we'll do the cool thing where uh, the shadow like makes faces and does weird things at Rose and Rose like notices and points and then like snaps back to normal whenever you turn around to check. Or I just, just like brush her off. I'm just like, calm down. That, what, yeah. are you, what are you fussing about? Honestly, that, that would be terrifying if you're like sitting there, like with your back turned to your child and it starts giggling at a spot in the room that you're not standing in. I think that's what all <laughs> they babies do. do yeah. that all yeah. the terrifying. time. That's why you think ghosts are around you all the time. Babies, literally, that's literally all they do. Yeah. <laughs> so all day. Rose I live thinks... with a five month old all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally that all the time, but she's like old enough now that she like burbles and speaks with it. And like, is making specific little gestures whenever she's looking at it. It's not just like a general burbling. She's trying to like replicate an action being done at her consistently, but you never see it. Rose is the best baby. She's the best baby. She's cool. very smart. She she's seems so smart, smart for so her smart. age. <laughs> Especially considering how stupid we are. She is very smart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, you think we're stupid? I mean, relatively, yes. Did you not meet the librarian dragon? Yeah, but I didn't feel like we were stupid. I thought our intelligence was comparable. I, see, I don't know what that word means. So I, that makes me feel kind of stupid. Okay. Um, it's like you take the word and it's like compare and com it's part of the word. It's like the root of the word. If you were to get to the Latin of it, we could talk about it, but I feel like maybe this is not interesting for you. So I will refrain. What? Okay, so this is the part where I feel like <laughs> you don't listen to me. <laughs> okay. Um, you're I'm amazing. Gonna <laughs> I'm gonna cut from this awkward <laughs> moment real quick. And say, Thank hey, you. Jasper, 
what did you do with the tome when you were done and everyone was kind of like committed to the course of sailing oh away? i i didn't draw any particular attention to it i thought I i'd think uh so. No, I thought I might um, take it away for some light reading in my quarters. That's oh, okay, okay. all right with you. Did you ask anyone or are you just going to do no, it? No, no. I I mean, if no one asked for it back, I thought I'd keep reading. You know? That's did what we would do. For it back? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what we did in that library episode. We did. Yeah. We didn't we ask did. for it directly, so we just <laughs> took it. You're like, I'm so and then when they did ask for it, and we said, we'll give it to you for money, and then they never asked for it again a second time after they paid us. Yeah. So yeah, I'll that. take it. I'll read it a little bit closer uh, yeah. in whatever broom closet they give me to sleep in. Oh, you oh, get yeah. a full room because oh, do I? Hank fucking sleeps in the dinghy. Oh. Yeah. And the librarian <laughs> is not here right now. Hank is not aware yeah. that he has a room um, he or that he has <laughs> or that he has a bank account. I help take care of and manage his money. He's actually, I think, maybe almost a billionaire, but he's not clear on that and sleeps anywhere he kind of lands. Uh, the room you're staying in, by the way, uh, is covered in a very large circular transportation sigil. Mm. Uh, what level spells can you cast? Can I cast? Yeah. Oh, I'm a quarter caster. I'm an artificer. So I can only cast like fourth level spells, third level spells. More than any of us. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can cast third level, third level spells. I think okay. I can only do cantrips. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a couple of first level spells. Oh, you've got fireball, you son of a bitch. Yes. I have fireball. You yeah. son of a bitch. It's, yeah, but fireball is only first level, right? No. no it's oh, it's third, third level. level. Third. I yeah, can do a third a level spell. It's a good one. <laughs> and fly is also a third level. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh my god, I forgot you have that too. Dope. I'm gonna push Hank's ass off the boat one time just just to see what you do. Yep. See I'll if he can fly. He can fly. fly. He can fly. <laughs> I'll probably fly. Yeah. Oh man. Or I'll just okay. land be, like a monk and be fine and run on water. <laughs> That's fair. Anime. You have so many options. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have a sense that like you could probably spend some time also like copying this down and then when you get better at magic. I could just sh pop into their broom closet whenever I wanted. All right. Yeah, we'll it's that. not a broom closet. It's a full ass room. Oh, sure. Yeah. I can just pop in. Do you want very... a broom closet? No, 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 no. Ah, do you I don't know why I had that stuck in my head. Do you need head. to feel like no, you're good. closely I need held? to be like Harry Potter? No, I, yeah. I will copy. I will spend some time uh, copying down the sigils. Uh, mm -hmm. for this particular transportation circle. Um, I will also spend a bit of time uh, um, using my right tool for the job uh, trait, where uh, I will spend an hour of uninterrupted work making uh, a set of artisan's tools. Um, and because, um, because Trislin seemed so enamored with uh, sandwich preparation on the island, I will make a panini press. <gasps> Uh, and, and has anybody oh. made the like harley quinn juxtaposition with like trislin's like sandwich Damn. love it's pretty good like Damn, it kind of really makes good. a lot of sense it yeah really harley does. has, a, a, has a hyena she has a abyssal chicken yeah <laughs> it's like the same thing oh my god that's they amazing. both do a lot of cocaine <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, I will uh, do uh, deeper research, a bigger read on the book. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I will offer you extra information, but suffice to say, like, you immediately see the opportunity for profit here. Selling this back to, I mean, from what you know of the, the giants, like, hierarchy, if you sell this to the storm giants and they don't kill you in the process, you will be so rich nice. so rich it's a lot of good information here uh you also notice something very interesting about the way this fire giant and this is more of a journal and less of a book but it's just in a really nice like it's a really nice journal it's like a moleskin uh that this giant like shows how he created his armor in the elemental plane of fire and that there's an alternate form to it that if you rearrange a couple of the sigils using really basic magical ability. Uh, there's a 
there's a, a really powerful melee like orientation to this armor that mm. you, as you can best guess, hasn't been unlocked yet by uh, the current owner of the armor. Yes. Right, and I'm aware that the armor in the book is the armor that Aoj is wearing. Yeah, it literally looks like it was just scaled down magically in order to fit a, hmm. like, tall for a halfling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tall for my, my yeah. Tall. Yeah. So this like is information five, I have now. Five. Yep. Yeah. Cool. You can do with it whatever you You're want. You're Mary and Pippin after the forest when they drink the magic juice that makes them, you know, three, two. Wow, spoiler alert. I don't get that reference. I don't know Lord of the Rings, you guys. It's in the extended edition. At least you knew it was Lord of the Rings, so you did. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> Man. Uh, Got him. I've never seen someone learn their own knowledge so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changed. Oh, man. Hey, Banna, you have a reroll. Is it for me? What? Nothing. It's for Oh, you resub. Yeah. I don't know, Bria. What do I get? Uh, if I resub and give you what? Oh, wait. No. I'm not uh, going to do it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing? I offer you nothing. Nothing. At least, at least she's honest. Yeah. Nothing? I give you nothing. Yeah, I think uh, I think maybe the table gets it then. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Take it tight. Write that down. That's fine. Nothing. And thank you, Kirov99. That's one more for me. Boop, boop. Can I, I need also to make you guys read my roll book? Ooh, What'd you say? Yeah. What's your um, book? <laughs> my 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 book that's in ancient dwarvish. Oh shit, I forgot about your book. Yeah. Uh and you can read that. Um that's the one thing I can read. <laughs> Roll a d20 for me. I thought you meant your book that was on sale on Amazon. It's uh, yeah, it's not on sale. It's just it's just a dollar, I think. <laughs> that no, I meant like, like on sale, like for sale. Oh, for, for sale. sale. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Semantics. know. Dollar feels like on sale. That's, 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 that's <laughs> uh, what is it? Just a d20? Yeah. Uh, nine. Just picking through the information to give you. Uh, yeah, with a nine, you learn more about like you open to the part that's literally like what is it is it deuteronomy in the bible that's just like and mary begat pippin who begat Boy. hezekiah Jeepers. yeah why did you make a lord of the rings because <laughs> those are the only names i can think mary of. begat pippin but i like that you say you don't know lord of the rings but you know like all their freaking names i only I love said you. the two that were just said to me that's just two minute recall I bet that you can name one talent. Lord of the Wings character. For uh, sure. Lady Lamb. Lady that's Lamb. A, that's offensive. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> also, M Mary's a brandy book, and Pippin's a took, so they right. don't begin each other. What does that even mean? <laughs> Fuck. I shouldn't not, be playing They're not some Dandy. underhill. Be good right. morning by a better daughter took, son. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not some brazen half bottle. Right. <laughs> or proud foot. Proud feet. Sorry, yes. <laughs> I've lost utter control of this table now. Ooh, oh my god. Hey, oh, the question shit. was, were you in control? Oh, that's fair. Never was. So oh. you're saying that, that my book reads like the Cimmerillion. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. <Sure. laughs> Impossible to read. Yeah. Uh, but you can see that like this book gives the names of your parents and I'm gonna have to pull that doc up. So we'll do it after the break. Uh, but you see your name, the one that's tattooed on the inside of your leg. <laughs> and it is crossed out along with like two names beside you and your parents. And uh, I will give you more information about that when we come back from the break. Mm -hmm. But mm. we'll be back in a couple minutes, y'all as I go and pull up my doc of like backstory shit because I didn't nice. have it ready to go. Uh, so everyone go take a bio break and we'll see you back here in a few. Goodbye, go. Bye. Bye. See you yeah. in a moment.
for me, Argentina. <laughs> Don't cry for me. No, oh, no. I like cry this for new you. One. No, 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 no. This no. is the update. That's good. I Hi, like guys. it. The remix. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of episode five of season three of Pirates of Salt Bay. Uh, previously, oh, well, I guess not previously, but we are currently en route to. Uh, we're taking the the Skyland route. The Hobbit slides and garden. We're taking the Hobbit to Isengard, to Isengard. That's to all Isengard. I know is that song. Yeah. That's all you need to know. It's a bop. It's got Lego lamb in it. It's great. It does. Okay, 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 okay. I think there should be lots of that. <sighs> Thank you, Siri. Hey, you better fucking shrink. I mean, maybe that joke's got legs. I don't know. Oh, no, stop. Boy. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ruben. I just Ruben. can't this explain not how much game. I No, man, it give, give me some more puns. No! <laughs> Why don't you just pip in an, uh, on the next All one? Right. Everyone I, either has anyways, or doesn't thanks have for the guy. I'm going to roll the credits now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Is nine, this the episode where we jump the shark? Is this the episode? Is this Nine, the nine puns that. were made. We Nine puns were made, but they were all of them betrayed for another pun was made. I don't get that. I get it. Damn it. We're looking for the one pun to rule them all. All right, anyone that speaks in the, in the, like can speak the, like fucking the black Also, speech. there were 19 rings. Right yeah, now. There were Fake 19, fan. nine were given to the kids. Fake fan, men. it's fine. Fake fan. But do you know it in the fucking scary language? Of course language? not, no. Nah. No, on. nobody speaks the tongue of Mordor. Ashnaz, to look. I don't know why that's the thing I know. But it is. Anyway. I love how uh, you say you don't know and you know so much. No, I only know the language part. I didn't read the... Anyway, this is so dumb. And we're going to play the game again. Mm. Okay, great. So right now, uh, our dear Dirty Hank is taking a quiet moment to look over uh, the ancient Elvish... Like, or Elvish. God damn it. You did this. <laughs> Dwarvish tome that he stole from the library. Oh, he's got a prop with his family name of Dor written on it. And he opened to a random page and sees like a long, a long list of like a genealogy. And at the very bottom of it, stricken out, he sees his name beside two others, which are uh, Hup and Weta, Dor. And uh, the two above it, like feeding into it, clearly anyone that's seen a family tree knows that this are, these are his parents, Hogat and Miri. And they're all stricken out and a page number is given for a greater explanation. But what do you do, uh, Dirty Hank? I put the book down, never open again. No, yeah, I, good, smart. I, I, I turn to that page. <laughs> yeah. And as you do, do you remember the uh, memory flower? Yes, I do. You, okay. Uh, that very specific scent of like soft lilac and night blooming jasmine and ozone, unbidden seems to wash over you. And as you begin to read the, the words uh, describing the end of your family line, you feel yourself fall asleep or get close to falling asleep. Uh, let's go ahead and make a, hmm, I'm gonna call this a wisdom saving throw. Okay, let's see. Uh, how good is my wisdom? Uh, it's all right. Uh, will a, a 21 do it? God damn it. <laughs> yes. A 21 absolutely will do it. Uh, and you feel that this is a magical effect trying to overtake Listen, you. I've been put, I've been, Dirty Hank's been put into a lot of magical dreams. <laughs> he understands the feeling of falling asleep and passing out and being put magically to sleep. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, he's you gonna can write it if you want. It's no, he's going to write it. Okay. Uh, yeah. By the and lightning? Then... I like it. <laughs> I am and... the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, along with that, we'll go ahead and say that, like, instead of it jolting you to awakeness, like, that last bit of consciousness as you slide into sleep is heralded by a low rumble of thunder and the sound of rain, though no one else on the ship can hear it. And you open your eyes, and you're on the deck of another ship, clearly an older build, not as big or well-maintained and with the eyes that you understand and that you have now, you understand that this ship, though very, very nice, 
was not run by a very good crew. Uh, dwarves not super well known for their seamanship. And though this may have been the best that uh, your clan had to offer, uh, the ship and the crew are not equal to the tasks set before them by this very powerful storm now. And uh, you see a crew made up of not just dwarves, but like there's some other like humanoid races, dragonborn, uh, a goliath or two, uh, like racing to like pull down rigging as the storm is just absolutely lashing and like splintering parts of the ship and pulling like rigging out of its mooring. Uh, you see limbed in lightning, uh, a bright flash, like a, a long neck of a massive sea serpent, like facing down on the ship. And you look to the right and you see your parents guarding a, a small child, a baby, and your mother is protecting like two small children, a boy and a girl. And uh, go ahead and make make a history check for me, just okay. to see. This is a weird one. Okay. Uh, just yep. to place yourself in this. Twenty four. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, with a history check, this slightly uh, weird dream gets even weirder as your awareness takes on the perception of that baby, and you flash back and forth between like you as an objective outsider watching this happen from like a side of the ship unaffected by the rain and you huddled in the arms and protected by the cloak of your mom like beginning to feel the distress of like everyone around you causing you to like to cry and squirm even more as suddenly cold water like washes over you and by the way when i say baby i mean like a two-year like a toddler not like a baby baby. <laughs> so to explain how you would survive this. And then uh, cold water washes over you. And the you that's watching this objectively sees the massive serpent crash into the ship and pull it under the water. And then you like bolt to awakeness and you see that you are now like at the bottom of the page somehow having like in your sleep flipped over the pages and experienced roughly what was explained of the story that uh, the last of the line was traveling to visit another clan on a, a different, like they were basically just following the coast on a very safe route and something happened that destroyed the ship. And it was believed that the entire like family was ended there. And then the, the following chapters, this is towards the end of the book, the following chapters talk about uh, the fight for supremacy of like the clans that you guys led and that they are now led by a house by the name of uh, Marcotte, M-A-R-A-K, oh, M-A-R-K-A-T. Okay. And yeah. He's gonna place the book down. Yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty much how I expected. Yep, that's, uh, that's how I remember it. Okay. Uh, are we all there watching him, or what, what happened? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> that's the sweetest shit I've ever heard. I'm just like, I want to give him a hug. <laughs> or at least an arm around the shoulder. <laughs> What do you do? Like, where I'm assuming uh, Dirty Hank was by himself yeah. during this. I just want to find him. Chilling in the dinghy. Yeah. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. Yeah. He was just in the dinghy. I don't know. Like, if you want to just make a weird role to be there, you can. I mean, what no. if he was just in his head? <laughs> 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 just, just tooling around. Oh. Let me just check in with Hank really quick. Oh, are you sad, Hank? <laughs> are you sad, Hank? Nah, I'm fine. I'm a little hungry. Okay, Inside I felt check. Like... <laughs> I'm gonna roll deception against him. Yeah, do it. Why? I'm gonna make you roll with disadvantage, Eric. Fair enough. I was at a negative one. Vulnerability is strength. Come on. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
I rolled okay because my insight's pretty good. What'd you roll? Should I? I would like. I feel like I need to re-roll it because Hank's been rolling like these twenty plus today. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna use true. a re-roll because we have a lot. Do I'm it. Using one. Boot it. Boot it. Boot Big money, big money, big money, big money. Yeah, that, it's basically the same. <laughs> What'd you get? Um, uh, a 16. Okay, I rolled a 10. <laughs> <laughs> what are you feeling, Dirty Hank? Uh, Hank, I mean, it, it would be very, like, it wouldn't be obvious if you didn't know Hank, but you could see probably, like, a... Uh, like the hint of watery eyes, which you wouldn't notice from Hank, like unless you were like someone who spends a lot of time around Hank. He's Do usually so dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have like a speck of dust or something in your eye? I feel like you're trying not to feel something. Go away, you. Okay, bye. Uh, I want to intervene. Just a little bit. <laughs> Cause uh, as you hear Dirty Hank say, go away, something in you pushes and says, no, you need to find out what's happening. It sounds like your voice that says, no, push harder. You can figure out what's going on with him. Hank. Eric, what the fuck? <laughs> I, drop my I know you said go away, but then you're dropping things. And so I feel like maybe I don't want to drop the ball with you. I want to continue this conversation. I feel like you already dropped it. I feel um, like you actually, I know that of all the people on this crew, Eos, the one person I want to talk to the least is you right now. So I get that you want to push me away, but I feel like this might be a history because you're worried because people leave you before you can leave them. And you try to push me away now because I'm the closest person who's gotten the closest to you in a very long time. That's not true at all, Leos. I'm pushing you away because I don't trust you as a human being. And I don't think you have my best interest in mind. I, 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 I only have your best you know interest that in he's mind. Just, he's, he's going through something right now and he's always been super closed off. But you can get to the truth if you need to. Is that me talking or is that <laughs> Abri is what you talking? hear in your head talking? Abri is holding the Hadal coin. I just wanna I just noticed and I don't like it's it. It's a little blown out. I just wanna clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my um, whole camera's blown out because I don't know how to control my camera. I like that about you. You're you bright shine bright. Um shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Okay, Hank. I'm bright like a diamond. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a doll? <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm no, sorry, this, Hank. This is Eosh. This is Eosh <laughs> talking to Eosh. No. And I just want to let you know that you can get to him. You're I, the only one with the enough emotional intelligence to understand what he's going through. This is perfect. Yeah, this is how I know it's a trick because I clearly don't have emotional intelligence. That's what people have told me what my are you whole talking life. About? You seem like you're the only one on the ship capable of love. That's not true. Shit. Rose loves me. I'm just going to hand you the coin through the fucking TV. <laughs> my... Addy loves me, even keep though going. she You're fine. <laughs> doesn't always act like it. Hank, I'm going to get out of your- Addy loves you. Hey, hey, I need you to stop. Hank, I'm trying to get him out of my mind right now. You told me I wasn't strong enough or something, but he's trying to get in right now to try to get to you. And I'm not going to let him. I'm just letting you know that now. So I'm going to head out. But I want to tell you, it's okay if you're sad. And it's okay to have friends. I have friends. And not friends. all of them. They're just not you. Hey, uh, not, uh, not Addie, all of them are giggle. gonna betray you. Addie, throw me a little Hadal giggle in Dirty Hank's direction, please. <laughs> you really put that Eos in his place, didn't you? 
Who's the big boy on the boat now? Uh, that was the Hank. Hank. I know. Oh. I just was going to say it got real quiet. Hank, do you hear me? Yeah. Am I coming through? <laughs> I can drop the call. I can, I can give you a call back. <laughs> Breaking up a little bit. No? Okay. Just I... blank. I don't know if this will work, but I would like to use stillness of the mind, which w oh. which helps me end one effect. And it says charm or fear, but I imagine this is similar. I can use an action to... This is seduction. So <laughs> very different. Uh, I will let you go ahead and roll for. Is it like is there a roll associated? No, it's just like if I'm charmed or feared, I can use my action on my turn to end th that effect. Yeah. Do you feel like you're being charmed or no? I guess with not. fear. I, I mean. Answer honestly. No, I don't like, feel like that. I just was like, I gotta have some way to like block people out. I'm a goddamn monk. That's true. Can't you do enough? If you can come up with a reason or a like some other mechanical thing that you want to try to do, I can't to bump see. them out of your mind. I can't see nothing uh, that would lead to that way. I mean, you can try to make a wisdom save. Okay, I'll try and make a wisdom save. We'll see how well we have lots of rerolls if you need it. Yeah, but uh, you're not going to use any of them. Uh, I rolled an 11. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're going to sit here and fucking listen to Hadal. I'm reclaiming my time, bitch. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> this person. Who has proven themselves untrustworthy over and over again, despite many examples to the contrary, wants to know the deepest, darkest, most hidden parts of yourselves? Who do they think they are? Hank, you got real quiet and I'm, I'm, I'm I know I said I would leave. I'm sorry. I, I'm still here, but if you need me, He's still here. I'm your friend to the end. Eos. Listen, I'm fucking angry with you, and I'm gonna be angry with you for a while. For and you're not gonna fix time. that. You just gotta let me be angry with you for a while, <laughs> and that's how it's gotta be. Okay. Be angry, but let's fix everything that's been happening, and we can finish this quest we started. I'm gonna tell you something I don't tell a lot of people. I don't get angry at people, usually, because I don't let people in. That that's why I'm so angry. That if I didn't care for you, I wouldn't give two, two shits what you did. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that, Hank. Your anger is based in love. <laughs> okay. So you do care. Hank, yeah. that's the nicest thing you ever... <laughs> You ever said to me. And Hank, in the moonlight, uh, there's a little bit of your shadow being thrown against like the wood of the dinghy. And you look at your neck and it gets longer. And then it suddenly turns awkwardly. And in profile, it looks like that massive sea serpent that destroyed your family. And it begins to laugh again. <laughs> It was almost more cruel to let you live, wasn't it? No, it was a mistake, Hadal. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna stab you through the heart and watch as you scream as you cease to exist, and there ain't nothing you're gonna do about it. And you know I'm coming. That's why you're trying so goddamn hard. Cause you know that you can't stop me. Your first mistake was thinking that I had a heart. And it was a that... What's give me the advantage here? It would I because meant like a physical are... physical thing, like a like it meant more like a metaphor, like a also mistake. a mistake. Yeah, no, I'm sort of like a I'm transcended past yeah, that's why like I... a corporeal. Yeah, I mean, I'm existence. still gonna kill you. I'm still gonna kill you. That's okay, what I'm saying. No, but do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Not especially what I'm saying is all like... I know is that I got one purpose and it's to kill you, and I'm going to fulfill that purpose. Yeah, you're doing Hank, a great job. Make booting. another wisdom saving throw for me. In a dinghy in the moonlight, you're doing a great job, bud. Okay. <laughs> wisdom save 21. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. And uh, 
with a flash of lightning, like a bolt out of the blue, your shadow suddenly disappears and you can no longer hear. Hadal. And you are left alone with your thoughts. I need a drink. Uh, I could get you one. Sorry, I, th- I said I was hopping out. No, I can get my own drink. Okay. Also, Vanna, just... Holy shit. It's all the voice changer, baby. That was amazing. <laughs> it's called the acting, bitch! <laughs> nah, it's the words with the voice changer. You yeah. went in. Yeah. You went in. We Damn. Love we love that for her. Nice. That was amazing. Uh, how is Addie spending her time otherwise on this trip? Oh, probably just hanging out with uh, Taika and Rose. Nice, nice. Doing some tummy time. Sweet. Uh, I will give you. <laughs> that's all I know about babies. <laughs> I was like, I think she might be older than that now, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I she's don't like know. one and some change. Can they walk? are talking. Yeah, they walk. How much does they she walk weigh? Like nine... five pounds? <laughs> oh my <laughs> what does oh my a, god what does a 14 month old baby do right how much could it cost they talk like they hang $10? out they're bad at eating like ten dollars yeah a baby <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's worth a patrillion dollars because she's the smartest baby in the world yeah uh so she's babbling at you i guess she's walking they have words they have a few words then too nice what is uh, rose what is rose's first word oh <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have I'm a, a good ship. I need no, it has to be from Taika. Like, what if what if it's like construct? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Hand for, gray hands forever. <laughs> okay, uh, whoever wants in on this, I'm gonna say Jasper can get in on this too. Everyone make a charisma saving throw. And whoever mm. gets the highest number, oh boy. Uh, you're only allowed to use one reroll from the pile if you're gonna do it. Same for me. I'm rolling for Taika. Oh, I'm whoever rolls losing. the highest. Whoever <laughs> rolls the highest gets the gets to decide. Rose really? Yep. Ooh, I mean, twenty. Oh, okay, good. Thank goodness. Why even bother? Why I didn't bother? Seventeen. Eo teaches the baby its first word. God damn it! <laughs> Would you? Did anyone beat a twenty? I'm not no. gonna try. It's a Does natural a twenty. Beat a twenty. Wait, was it a natural twenty? Yeah. Yes. Oh shit! Yeah, you won. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> What is Rose's first word? How did I get a rock? Such a great roll and such a like, whatever. <laughs> That's the daddy energy. That's that daddy energy. energy. Classic. I do all oh the my work. god! You get the first word. Fuck. That sounds <laughs> That's right. It's that probably works. like that sounds exactly right. Yeah, you've been like up for like seventeen days, like taking care of the baby. You're like, I just need like a nap, and you go to sleep for like thirty minutes, and baby starts during talking. that time. It, yeah. She yes, started walking exact- and said her first word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly right. Honestly, technically, her first words were "Hi, mom." When you got to speak with her as an adult. Oh, so. don't bring that up. Oh, <laughs> that was such a great moment. So there you go. Do not do this uh, to me. Oh do not God. do this to me. I cried seeing a wolf go to sleep yesterday. I I can't. <laughs> Please. That sounds majestic. Okay, uh, Terry, what is Rose, what's Rose's first word? Oh God, this is so much pressure now. I shouldn't have yep. rolled so good. Yep, that's on you, baby. You're the only one who knows oh. how babies work. <laughs> I know, that's also like Rose. the pressure. I've nannied so long and I spent so much time with kids and their first words are so random. It really depends on the kid. Um, <laughs> well, our kid is really smart, super smart. She's very You're smart. You're over empathetic. Well, I am under empathetic. <laughs> my actual first words were "balloon my toy, mommy." No, oh. shut up! I have so many words. <laughs> so she <laughs> says, "Prestidigitation." Nice. That's so cute. We love it. We love it. Nice. My first word was "da," and my second word was "shit." <laughs> I was gonna say right. shit is it a for cuss? her first word. Is it a cut? Yeah, yeah. Was... yeah. <laughs> Came in hard with the cut. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> that was the first one. First word, press the digitation. Second one, chuckle fuck. Chuckle fuck. Oh damn. That sounds right. Nice. That's Wait, our what baby. are you picking? Wait, what are you That's picking? Our rose. Oh. Wait. 
I just said prestidigitation, but that's yeah. not as exciting as shit. <laughs> <laughs> First word is shit. Second word is prestidigitation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Prestidigitation. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. Prestidigitation. Yeah. Uh, so here's what I'm going to have you do. Go this ahead. This baby is straight up magic. Wait, can she cast prestidigitation? No, she's a fucking baby. You need to calm yeah, down. Yeah, but she's a cool baby. She's a special baby, Abria. Uh, Dude, that's a that's a dope ass baby. He wears sunglasses and rides a motorcycle. Ooh. Oh fuck! So, like I'm gonna use Hadal energy on my baby, Abria. Get get away this from me. This is a meta question. Like, I am not having you as Addy like summon Hadal. I am saying, if you take the Hadal coin, yeah, this baby like cast prestidigitation, and is like a little baby magician. Don't I take just it. Get, I get one free little Hadal thing I get to do at some point. No, Addy has to take this. So what She's is the Addy? untainted one? I know. She is so virginal, it's wild. Yeah. It's pure. <laughs> pure. Pure. No, no, no. No, I'm I'm uh I Come am on. uh maintaining my streak. Coward. Meta Coward. in character, it wouldn't happen. Boo. It wouldn't happen. She's she has had too much rage towards everybody else having fucked with it that it's just like, I don't know. Ugh. It's like everyone in your family being an alcoholic, you know, like Yeah, that's fair. It's torn us apart. You're either an alcoholic or you fucking hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. All right. Well, you know what? How about I leave this up to chat? Chat, if we hit six hundred dollars tonight, that baby does magic. And there's no Hadal stuff attached to it. Nice. Special yeah, that's on baby. You. Ba, 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 One hour. Ba, ba, ba. It's on you. Magic babies. <laughs> <laughs> I was very into it. Okay. Da, 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 uh, da, da, da. So what I was going to have you do, Addy, please make a perception check with disadvantage for me in order to notice and finally catch sight of the shadow while you're hanging out with Taika and Rose. And you can use rerolls on this. I'm just having you natural initially... twenty. <laughs> uh, with disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> I a hundred percent said that. You did, and uh, <laughs> I ignored it. Um, okay, that's fair. So, what was it? <laughs> Perception. <laughs> How about this? If you burn two of your rerolls, I'll let you keep it. Ten. <laughs> 10 do you want to keep the natural 20 you can no. burn two re-rolls we have plenty how many do we have like 48 plenty you have 73 re-rolls that's not true you have 92 re-rolls i just crossed him out just use him okay just use him. i keep my natural 20 cool uh, so describe for me what it looks like since you're also very good at being a doll. <laughs> Wait, what my shadow looks like? Yeah. So when you turn around, like you see Rose making, she puts her hands up here and makes this face specifically. It's not a face. It's like a gesture. Right. Yeah. Does this gesture specifically. And you've seen her doing this for the last two days. It's been while you guys have been flying over the whole time. And it's always directed just over your shoulder. And you finally just snap around and turn around. And what do you see? Uh, I think it's it's a version of my shadow that's that's elongated and in, like engorged itself against like the back of the cabin wall. Yeah. And then uh, when I make like not eye contact, but when I like yeah. perceive it, I think it it stops for a moment and lowers its hands and kind of cocks its like head to the side. And then it shrinks back up and like kind of like sucks up into Addie's feet and mm -hmm. then comes out the other way and and like flows like a dark river like over to Rose and like nice. pools underneath her. Oh, cool. And that's why I like handing that to you because that's cooler than the shit I was going to do. <laughs> the shadow farts. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it farts like a total. Like a total. It's a big squeak. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I will take over narrative control, but 
how does Addy respond to that? Now that you've I think, seen the I shadow think it, like rush under her. And I think it's just a slow thing. I don't giggling. I don't think it's yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's fast. I think it's like a it's like a like a slow river like okay so as it that's... flows under her and like yeah. pools under her and she just starts g like giggling delightedly i think addy freezes i think she's just staring down at rose and staring at this like pool of shadow beneath it and she can't talk and she can't move and after a minute or so uh the shadow like peeks out and it's rose shaped but it slowly raises its hands up and does this gesture to you. And Rose, without even looking back at it, like copies it and is still looking at you and not acknowledging the shadow. Uh, I think, I think Addie whips her like hands out and casts Prestidigitation like centered on Rose and just mm -hmm. makes as bright a light as she possibly can to try and destroy the sh or like remove the shadow from beneath the baby. Yeah, uh, and as you do this, Rose like knows your press and she like burbles and like giggles it out and just yells press digitation as you do it. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Yay. It's not to cast it, you can just cast it. That's how cantrips work. How cute is this baby? Uh, do I add anything to it? No, just, I just wanna know what the 16. number is. 16. Yeah, and uh, the light comes out and it completely like eats up the shadow. And when it sort of dies down again after a minute or so, I assume you like hold the light as long as the cantrip tends to, which is about a minute. And as it dims back down, uh, the shadow returns because there's still like lamplight and stuff in the captain's quarters, but the, sh the shadow is like unmoving now. And mine's back to normal. Are you checking? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a normal size shadow and doesn't seem to be doing anything. But uh, as this, like, as we kind of fade out from the scene, uh, you see that Rose still every now and then will look over your shoulder. She doesn't make any gesture, but she like just looks off and checks. That's all. <laughs> So uh, as the two and a half days have passed, it's about midday on that day three. And uh, you guys are like dropping out of the cloud line and you see there is a massive blockade set up in and around salt, like salt marsh, like you're, fly you're flying over where salt marsh used to be. And you see that massive like blockade around it and you keep flying north and you're able to like, skirt around where some ships are sailing out like they're no longer part of the blockade they're doing a patrol several miles off the coast but you're able to slip in unnoticed as far as you know thanks to chat for unlocking that for you and you're able to land in this like cavernous area it feels like the mountains come right up to the edge of the water and you can see all of these like big dark rock looking caves like where the water seems to be rushing in and you are in the spot rock 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 caves bum, 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 bum. <laughs> rock uh, caves before we jump into the next part of our uh, adventure we have one more toast from hunter l roar 91 I'm gonna pour more juice in this random mug I found. It's a good mug. It's, a it's good not mug. random, you probably own it. <laughs> Who knows, there's no way to know. Uh, and they said, for companions, I call you the Pirates of the Ring. <laughs> Booty! Booty! You can have my gun. <laughs> <laughs> and, my, and my alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> And my coin. And my heart. <laughs> that just yeah. turned into uh, Captain Planet. And I was gonna say. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we even have a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We have got to get Eosha bowl cut and just go oh, full Monty. no. Do we yeah. need that? Do we, we do. need that? It might awaken something in Addy. I don't know. Get that uh, uh, anger. Is it anger? That, that quarantine <laughs> anger. bowl cut going. Oh, oh my oh. god! 
It's unfortunate. That, though. Yeah. I think I could rock a bowl cut. I Sweet. can figure it out. Yeah. It's going to make a comeback soon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I will give this one to Dirty Hank to see if he notices. Do you ever, Dirty Hank, ask or inquire about the the tome? The fire giant book. Um, it was Trislin's book. Yeah, yeah, it was Trislin. So I feel like I don't know. I didn't. I personally didn't remember. So I am going to uh, Ruben even or odds. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty odd, so we'll do with that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I ask for it back. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Set the hey. bathroom on fire, Ruben. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I, you know, I'm not trying to like. You know, I don't want to be. Uh, the, you know, can I get that book back? It did not mine. Oh yes, and, of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the person who it belongs to will literally flame me alive. Understood. Of course. <laughs> I'll. Uh, where where do where do you ask me this? Uh, just like like. Like I knock on the door, I'm like, hey, you know. Oh, why? Uh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say if I'm like somewhere else, I'd be like, I am not gonna go back and get it right now. No, it's fine. In fact, All you right. could leave it right here, and you did like leave sure. it. Sure. In... I'll tell you what. I'll leave it right here. Okay. And you, you'll, you'll you can just to... give it to me. I'll put it with my book. Sure. Sure. And I'll go pick up the book, and I'll I'll hand it to Hank. All right. Thank you. I don't, I just I like if I if I don't I'm not trying to like accuse you of nothing. It's just I don't get it back. Oh, I'm gonna wish for death. Quite all right. No worries. No trouble at all. Sweet. Uh, I can't help but ask, Jasper. Did you actually give the book back? Um. So I had a lot of time on my hands in you my room. You did. You had like room. two and a half days. So I'm an artificer, mm -hmm. uh, and it's also part of my backstory that I'm quite good at forgery. Oh no. So nice. uh whatever skill you might use to discover if this is a forgery or not, I would say uh feel free to use that. Um Dirty Hank doesn't know how to read. Uh and no one on here can read giant anyway, so even if I Yeah. Yeah, this is the book for sure. Yeah, it looks like the book. <laughs> does it look like the book? It does. Then, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can roll perception, but unless, like, unless it's obvious, like, he wouldn't think that. It Did was you a put portrait. like a dick butt on it somewhere? Yeah, like, you... unless... right. No, no, it's a it's a decent facsimile. Yeah. Okay. He didn't spend a lot of time with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I... it's just as real as the papers that I handed the captain earlier in the episode. Oh no! Oh, oh my! Nice. Well, then, without even a roll you get the book back and that's very good and he's so nice and very trustworthy yeah, seems like it Sorry. yeah i just wanted to glean some more information from it you know, I it that, like, like if i if i you know it makes sense you know use it and actually there's some really interesting information that i'd like to share with everybody else if that's uh if that's all right okay also um, jasper it didn't pass your notice that he mentioned that he had a book and he doesn't know how to hmm. read so it must be a very special book nice I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Um, and I'll go up uh, and hopefully talk to everybody and say, um, so I spent a little bit more time. Not with, Trislin. She's still taking it. Not Trislin. Trislin's still hung over. Um, a three day hangover. We've all been there. We've all been there. Been there. <laughs> Look, I stuck oh my, my head in. I asked if she was okay and she threw a knife at me. So everything's fine. It hit. It's still in his cheek. <laughs> it's a dimple. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, it turns out that this was the diary of, of uh, Pelaki, um, uh, a fire giant. Lift, lift a name in there um, and has some really interesting information about this armor. Did you know that it does other stuff? You mean my armor is, is magical, maybe? Yeah. It does it does it does well, it look looks at this. good in the light and it it like sometimes I mean, we knew feels it was like magic it's... eosh it got runes on it we paid someone a lot of money yeah like it does like fire and stuff st stuff and it's extra protection which is why i wear it a lot and i like so it. i don't know exactly what it's gonna do but we could give it a shot if you wanted what do you mean a shot like you're gonna well, like pour some alcohol on it. I'm going to do something. I'm going to flip to the corresponding page in the book and there should oh, be a He's like going to do something some magic and then Captain will shoot you. There's there's like a configuration <laughs> that's right. There's going to be a configuration on one of the pages 
um, that is sort of like rejiggering where the runes so are. So it's bulletproof or something you're saying? I yeah, I'm not going to wear it while she does it. Like, that's not a good idea, Hank. Maybe we set it on like a mannequin or like up against something and she could do it that way. But I don't want to be like a test, test, test. Dummy when we give it something. a shot is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we would, if you'd like to know what it does, I'm, I can do some artificing. I also am very into artificing and I would like to maybe, maybe we could do something together. Absolutely. And I will describe what is written in Fire Giant or in Giant hmm. in the book, in the diary, in the entry here uh, to Eoj and then let him handle it. Okay. Uh, Eoj, what is described to you is the moving of runes and that does require the ability to read those runes. Would you like to make an attempt, an arcana attempt to rearrange the runes on your armor in order to unlock a different form. Sure. Cool. Um, and like, I'm, I'm helping, yeah? Yes, absolutely. So I'm gonna make you have you make an arcana roll with advantage, thanks to Jasper's help. Uh, quick side question, apropos of nothing at all, uh, where's Rose right now? Oh boy. Mm. With Tyka, right? Where's Tyka right now? Uh, I thought everybody was on the ship. Yeah. No, they're all, you guys are all on the ship. If she's with Tyka, I think, I think you decide, right? Where they are. Yeah, okay. Well, then I say that Tyka is holding, uh, is holding Rose in the little like calm emotions baby Bjorn. And mm -hmm. Tyka is just like looking off to the side and you see her mouth moving. And then she like waits as if someone's responding and then she just keeps talking. Uh, but at this point, Addie, you know that she's just talking to, she and Fair Juliet like have a whole different life sure. going on. Yeah. They're making like plans for karaoke later. <laughs> Super cute. You said karaoke wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That's, that's a good point. That's a very good point. You know, we could do online karaoke. Like, that's the thing. That that Twitch do. sings, Twitch sings. Right. Um, Y'all should visit Abria's Island apropos of nothing. Yeah, what? In there, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna karaoke, 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> the world's most jaggedy sign. I was like, I don't know how to make pretty art here. It's perfect. It's honestly perfect. Anna, it's come to my island. Than... Me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, all of this to say that, like, uh, Eoj, go ahead and make an Arcana roll with advantage. I did. I rolled 18 and a 19, respectively. Oh, we love to see it. Yeah. So, so thanks. Love uh, that for her. With that 19, you start, like, grabbing these runes and, like, digging deep. And you feel yourself. It's the equivalent of, like, burning a spell slot that you feel yourself like dragging these runes across the surface and you like pull them to the side, generally where you heard Jasper describe that they go. And you guys are referring to like this weird uh, like diagram that's written in giant and Jasper's like kind of like rolling, translating it. And you guys are like, everyone that's watching this right now can feel that the temperature on the deck of the ship is just subtly increasing. And if you look off on the side, now that you guys are back on the water, you're getting this like, shimmery like water mirage mm. like there's there's some heat here and you all are kind of sweating as you go about it and weirdly enough you guys anyone that would care to look over at rose sees that she is mimicking eoj's like movements and like mm. kind of doing like weird hands on her chest and one time a little glowing orange rune moves across her chest and then it happens again and then she looks down and giggles and then goes back to just moving her hands. As if a tiny baby just cast Prestidigitation mm -hmm. successfully. Nice. Because chat has unlocked magic baby. Dance magic. <laughs> Dance, Dance magic. Dance magic. baby. Crying hard, hard as they could cry. What could I do? do? Yeah, those runes on the armor, they remind me of the, okay. Of the babe? <laughs> what babe? Babe with the power? What, what power? 
Power press the digitation. Press the digitation. Press the reminds me of the as an added oh, bonus. don't ruin it for me. This is hilarious. No, this is great. And as the added bonus, Rose doesn't have like a full command of language, and a lot of these spells have verbal components. But in lieu of saying like magical words, you hear her like humming to herself as she casts, and she just hums like a little tune over and over again and keeps redoing the two little runes moving up across her chest. Obviously the runes are drawn wrong. She's just mimicking what she's saying. One's like a stinky every time cat. every she does it successfully. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> You're one saying- really like a simplified version of the one that's on Taika's forehead that she probably sees all the time. Right. And then every time she does it successfully, she's like claps and then begins humming and does it again. So it's a language that nobody, nobody here speaks except for Oh. Hank speaks baby talk. Hank does speak baby talk, doesn't you he? You understand, understand the baby a whole, a whole language. <laughs> so, Hank, what are you doing during this? Did you notice? Uh, he's Hank is half paying attention because this is all very boring and he doesn't understand what's going on. But he hears, <laughs> I imagine he would hear, like, he would look over to Rose, like, if he hears her giggling and stuff like that, but like, and like, see what she's doing and then probably notice the, the, the magic and then, then focus in on, like, Oh, she's saying things right now. <laughs> so, so she's what is saying, she saying? What is she Death saying? to the overlords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the really she funny. The of the innocent. <laughs> <laughs> it all, burn it all down. <laughs> no, she's good. No, I hate, hate. hate. <laughs> so the fun thing here is that she's actually not like saying anything she is in fact like sort of humming mm -hmm. and you can hear in the humming like hank you understand that she's saying like the equivalent of like making light like daddy mm. and yeah because I, like, I get the idea it. of what she's trying to say like i don't know the actual like i don't speak right. baby jerk but i i can mm. i can understand what she, the the concept she's trying to get across yep and mm. uh she like uh. as you get closer she like starts waving at you and does like the grabby hands, like you fucking grab me, son. What's the mm -hmm. uh, pick her up? Can you grab her. Hey, hey, hey kid, how how'd it going? You... And she keeps doing the grab, like no closer. Okay. Hank, we talked about this. How many drinks have you had today? Uh less than five. <laughs> and she... yeah, four. As you say four, she does like the baby thing where she grabs on the inside of your mouth. <laughs> That's a power uh, move. It <laughs> is. No it fish hooking. Fish hooking's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you hear her hum again. And she hums uh, Uncle Hank's juice. And you taste in your mouth like a weird approximation of like the ale that Thrain's horn used to make. That she recognized the smell of it enough that she's trying to make the like recreate the flavor which is another thing that prestidigitation Don't does aw. hank's making my like baby drink. an alcoholic no she's just making a drink for uncle hank she I doesn't mean, make the drink she makes the flavor right. the scent flavor of it just sort of on the inside of your mouth and then she uses the other hand and like it's smacking That's your face she super worrying nice. <laughs> yeah. uh uh hey 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 cap what i'm a little busy over here i i think you're gonna want to see this just take her hand out. No, it's it ain't that. It ain't that. There's, <laughs> and she's um, just laughing. <laughs> you, you, oh yeah, very good for fish Hank, fish Hank, Uncle Mouth. What? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. She looks and over at you, and as you say, fish, and she's gonna she's gonna smack you in the nose one time, Hank, and you suddenly smell fish. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. And she starts screaming and clapping Andy. again. Just change her diaper. Hank. Addie, Addie. What? Mm. I think you need to see this. Addie will walk over. Well, I've seen her dirty diaper a hundred times. It's not that. Uh, and I'm gonna yeah. like put her in front of uh, her face and the, in, in Andres's face. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna s just whisper to the baby and I'm gonna say strawberries. 
And you hear her hum again, and she just starts humming red berries over and over again. And she like, like Addie, you see her close her eyes and lean in, and she's just gonna like headbutt you <laughs> right in the forehead. And you have a vision of you eating like a big plate of strawberries. If you remember uh, when, like way back in the day when Sune gave you like a big plate of like super fresh berries. Right, yeah. And you just have a very strong sense memory of that. You remember eating it, but it's from a different perspective. You're watching yourself from across the room in a little Bjorn. And then one chubby baby hand goes up and just grabs it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then she starts wiggling in Dirty Hank's hands because you're holding her weird. And she's like, yeah. okay, this is not great. Addie will just take her. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Rose, did you, did you did you pick up a couple of things from mommy or from the strange man we're not to spend alone time with? Press the digitation. See, we've been okay. saying she's smart. She's real smart. And she begins humming one more time before we move on from this. I think uh, I think this actually freaks Addie out. Yeah. Cause I, I cause like this started after like the Hadal shadow situation and it like pooled under her. Speaking of which, uh, she does begin humming one more time. Hank, you're still close enough that you hear bright enough for no shadows. Cause the shadows make mom sad. And she actually begins to cry and there's a burst of light that like is strong enough and the after image is bright enough that like all the shadows within like a 10 foot perimeter around it are just gone. Wow. In defiance of how light works at all. <laughs> and then she just kind of cries and like nuzzles into your chest, Daddy. Hey, that's okay. You're, you did great, sweetie. Right, we got to, we've got to keep those bad shadows away, right? Uh, hold on, you didn't hear that. You heard I the think humming. It, no, I know, but I think- Oh, but you figured it out, yeah, because Right, smart. she's yeah. concerned about, about yeah, the, lights, the Hadal yeah. thing. Right. Then suddenly the baby does the solution that Addie had in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. fine. It's, it's You're her smart. kid, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not smart. I'm smart, you've called me a stupid You're bitch enough girl. times to know I'm not smart. Bria. <laughs> wow. I, the, the Bria has never once said it to you. You say nope. it to yourself all the time. No. Nope. Correct. <laughs> no, two Correct. episodes ago. Two episodes ago, three episodes ago. I called Addie that. Not that's what we're you. talking about. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, okay. You absolutely figure so it out. So Jasper knows what a warlock is. <laughs> um <laughs> Well, that's doesn't matter because she's obviously a bard. <laughs> right. Well, he, yeah. Uh, he's he's like, oh, well, it's not a wizard because this kid is one. Yeah. Um, and Could you got to go to school to be a wizard. Could be a sorcerer. Yeah. So he's just like very concerned now of like, okay, this is like everything else was kind of under control, but now there's the child. I thought this was under control. Vaguely <laughs> <laughs> under control. Like at least the variables were reasonable okay and now now i'm now i'm less i'm less enamored with being on this ship and <laughs> as an extra point of distraction for you jasper as you have turned in contemplation of the child mm. eoj moves the final rune into the right slot and the entire i must yeah you were wearing the armor right i didn't describe yeah. that wrong Okay, mm -hmm. correct. And this is some like, real Gundam shit and I'm here for it. Sorry, yeah, keep going. Yeah, that's just gonna start sliding around. <laughs> anime! And the bread, <laughs> anime! Uh, it's closer to like Tony Stark's like suitcase armor. No, I forget, anime. To, like, I'm sorry. Uh, the <laughs> Marvel like anime, but it was X-Men, but don't worry about it. Uh, as it slides across and reconfigures and moves, like all the pieces from around the back like slide to the front and all the shoulder plating switches and comes down and reinforces like across the arms and across the knuckles and makes these two giant like big old punching fists. It's close to, uh, if you guys have seen Steven Universe, like Garnet's like big old mm -hmm. gauntlet mm -hmm. hands. Yep. And that's just in front of you now. And both of them are glowing like bright white hot 
with a bunch of runes like written into them. Cool. Yeah, Jasper, you can read the runes. They're just like weird, like hype phrases, like just like kiss my grace. Right. <laughs> like this, one, this one says, "You're you're the man now." This um, is Des, and this is Troy. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, there's some real corny shit. <laughs> I think it's sweet. <laughs> one just yep. says, "Believe in yourself." <laughs> yeah. This the whole there's a there's a essentially where the tramp stamp is. It says, "Manifest your truth" on the bottom. <laughs> Yes. Really Love not, it. you know, ideal place to put it, but okay. <laughs> but that's where it goes. That's for the people behind you. Yeah. Just right. Remind them. Yeah. Live, Fire laugh, giant love. Font, uh, like runes are just that. Yeah, it's written in that like weird girl font. That oh, I hate it. Now, yeah. Like, like, Semi calligraphy. Modern oh, calligraphy. Man. Yeah. It's it's like it's it like a sixty five year old. Yeah. It's a sixty five year old woman's kitchen. Yeah. It's like oh, all wow. of those kind of. Yeah. Nice. I like Keep it. Praying. I also hate women. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> I just hate that font. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're just attributing genders to letters of Bria. I'm not. You're like a part other of the girls. problem. <laughs> You're no. a part of the problem. Yeah. I'm different than <laughs> calligraphy other girls. is the yeah. problem. Strangely, it's all in comic the sans. patriarchy. <laughs> the power of women compelling. <laughs> <laughs> it's not women font. It's just been sold to women font. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Tampon font. Ooh, Pretty much. Much better word Pink for tax it. font. <laughs> Pink tax, tax font. font. <laughs> like everything in Etsy written, I call it bullet journal font. Like. Yeah. That's more accurate. I think. Yeah. <laughs> that paints a much better picture, I think. If I said Bujo font, everyone would be like, is that racist? What did she say? <laughs> is it racist? <laughs> I don't know. Anything you say, though, people are already cataloging it. Yeah. Right. Bujo is the whitest shit in the world. So and you and so it cannot be racist. <laughs> right. And they're going to be like, she's calling us Karens and it's over. Yep. But, oh, yeah. my God. Oh only because it's one of her favorite NPC names anyway. <laughs> I just learned that the apparent, like the male version of a Karen is a Kevin. And I'm like, that's both of them. It's that's literally the all your NPCs. I <laughs> 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 don't know what to do with that shit. Oh, anyway, man. you have the big ass battle gauntlets now. Nice. So uh, your like melee range is now extended to 10 feet. And I can give you damage stats for that. Like after this is over. It's, nice. Yeah. It, it's, cool. it works real good when you punch it and it doesn't have anything to do with it all if you were getting stressed out about that. <laughs> I like how all of us trusted Abri on that. Just kidding. None of us trusted Wait, you what? saying that. Like, I you never trust. Were... Oh, this is from the book. This is from the. Thank you. Yeah. It's from yeah. the fire jam. Don't uh, act like Abria hasn't taken shit from the book right. and made it nasty. <laughs> no, no, no. This has nothing to do with the evil coin person. It has it to do with the evil giant that yeah. you killed before. He's like, I'll take it. Make if it you're from worried about Hadal, normal and make it Hadal. You, why don't you do a fucking Arcana check to check if some Hadal stinks on there? There you go. Y'all have always been able to do that. I will, I will check it. Please do. Arcana check. With advantage, because you have a intimate relationship with the doll. Not like that. No, like that. His hand's been in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't like it. Um, yeah, seven... you should have thought about that. Okay, 17? Yeah. <laughs> uh, with the 17, you have, especially as an artificer and a creator of magical items, you have a strong sense of like, the magical signatures that are left on artifacts. These do not have any other magical signature other than forged by a fucking fire giant for his damn self and then altered by other artificers. Mm -hmm. And you know those other artificers were the Aarakocra that retrofitted this to fit you. That's all. All good. No Hadal. Hadal would never put believe in yourself on yeah. anything he created. That's <laughs> true. The that's laugh the love, laugh. though, that's he definitely would, his. He would Hadal put... kept a Bujo for like a week and then like... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, I'm, I'm Hadal. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. How many checking? people are relating right now to Hadal that they never thought they would? <laughs> Just think it'll help me, you know, if I can like... <laughs> Move the tasks over to like the following week. I can really see what I need to prioritize and like 
it'll really bring out the creativity in me, which is like so squashed in modern it's society. So <laughs> <laughs> so violently and desperately attacked. How oh. dare you? Oh man, Sorry. I'm not gonna ever shit down to you. That was hilarious. That was great. Oh, man. Uh, oh my god, bullet journal, bullet journal people. Oh man. sorry, sorry, Boo The hopes room. we had at the beginning of 2020. Do you remember when you needed a journal at the oh, beginning of the god. year? I was like, I got a planner this year. I think I'm I threw my organized. planner away. I was yeah. like, that's I gone. honestly think I need to put it in the trash too. Like I haven't used it since <laughs> it's March. Right out. I have a, I find that like a paper calendar really used to help me. Uh, and it's hanging me, it's hanging in my hallway and I'm like, oh, this is all like organized and now I, I haven't crossed a date off of it in a month. Oh, what is time like anymore? I just pulled down. pens and uh, some stickers and like some stencils and that really so helped many... me like. If I could get up right now, I would go get you by like full <laughs> complement of Tombow markers. The ones that allow you. you to write in that Same. fucking same. Tampon font. Same. Ugh. Tampon font. <laughs> There's a reason I was making fun of it because I yeah. was like very frustrated with my because inability you hate women. to. We get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I hate the... myself. So yeah, fucking wow. truth and comedy baby. affects us all. <laughs> Anyways, Dirty Hank would like to see if this magical baby <laughs> has anything to do with the the God Eater that has been giving power so readily to everyone who wants it. Ooh. Oh, damn. Okay, go ahead, make an Arcana check. <laughs> With okay. advantage because you have had an intimate relationship. Oh, His hand has been in your mouth. <laughs> and a lot of places. And uh, you're a killer with this. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Arcana. I have zero mm -hmm. Arcana. 11. <laughs> Do you want I'll, to give, I'll, I'll flash of insight to plus four that. Oh, oh okay. how dare you. 15. And then, what uh, the fuck? I'm... Then okay. I'll use my plus five. So it's a 20. <laughs> All right. You've Franken built a dirty 20 and I'm proud of you. <laughs> and with a 20. Actually, uh, Frankenstein was the doctor and <laughs> the monster was actually just. That's why she said Franken built, which is fine. No, I'm sorry. I'm. Uh... <laughs> oh no. I'm He's a, a mansplainer. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you made him truly sinister. Oh my way. God. I, I hate expected. it. I hate it. Yeah. I used to be rooting for him until mm. yeah. <laughs> I just did the Bride of Frankenstein this week on my podcast, and I oh, always yeah, am like, it's a monster. That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So with a dirty twenty, uh, you're gonna have to grab her again in order to do this. By the way. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're holding an unhappy baby. I'm sorry. You're just gonna grab my baby? Yep. What? No, Are you're you not. <laughs> Why? Five Are drinks. You gonna Hank? Try to... Five drinks. Hank Four is gonna drinks, grab my Hank. baby. I'm only four. Are you going to let him grab sober. the baby? No drinks while you're holding her either. I'm not drinking right now. I need to check. No, I'm saying don't start. I, this I, is obviously the chosen child, so I, be extra careful. We're I'm probably not, just getting it down to four drinks. Four drinks max now that she's the chosen child. Cap, I need to, <laughs> we need to check. Check what? You know what I need to check. I need to make sure we need to make sure it's it it's probably fine but we should know now I don't want to know what are I, we gonna do if if it probably is probably okay just just let well, it no no let no it... what are we gonna do if it is I don't know last time I we'll had to figure shoot it out. both of you to get it all out of you that what, won't you happen. want me to shoot Rose no no I'm I'm then making... we don't need to know. I do. Because if we don't know, that's information he could hold against us. I would also like to know because it looks like she's kind of copying us. And if she's copying she's us, She's a I baby. Wanna... That's what babies do. Right. But also... If she's gotten too good at copying us, I want to make sure that she hasn't let him in. And what if she is? What if what if he's in there? You want to what? Then we'll Lock have to her figure. In a box? No. no. So she can't see us. What? 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 Then we'll have to figure out a way for her to copy us out, so she could get out of it if if it's there. If she, if 
if, then, <laughs> then I have to go and do what I, I have to go. We have to uh, hurry. Eos and Dirty Hank, you heard that laugh just now. It's, I'll know. And I don't think it can happen, but I need to know. It's not that it, nothing bad happens. It's not the end of nothing. You don't know that. You don't know that. What, what we have, if we know, then we have to come up with a solution. And, and, and Adol is more powerful than when he was infecting the lot of you. And she's a baby. Yeah. Is that the first name? That's the first time I heard that name out loud, yeah? Yes, it is. Okay, just checking. You want to make a history check about it? Sure. Cool. Uh, I'm going to have you make it with disadvantage. Okay. But you have plenty of re-rolls, and you you also have a plus five to one of your, like, one okay. roll of your choice. One of my rolls was a natural 20. Mm. Uh, the other roll was a 10, but I'm quite smart, so plus eight, 18. Yeah. Must be nice. Uh, well, some of us are just stupid bitches. So I mean, it, <laughs> I, I don't have to lot of I don't have to fight a lot. So uh, I will take uh, and I'll flash of genius instead of using my plus five. So I'll Sorry. go to twenty two. Twenty two will just get you there, as this name in your like extra planar travels and your dealings with like beasts and demons of both the abyss and or devils from like the nine hells and demons of the abyss, this name has popped up once or twice, always in hushed tones, always as a cautionary tale mm. and spoken uh, almost reverently or fearfully between demons of the abyss, an old God. Mm. Is this Someone like a, this is a boogeyman? This is a careful, this is like what the what the demons tell the, their children, careful or Hadal will get you? Uh, yeah. Or is this, yeah, yeah, that's it's close to that. And okay. uh, I'll offer with a 22 a little extra information. They speak of Hadal as a being strong enough that his power was chained to the abyss to hold the tear in reality mm. open that allows yeah. them to pass back and forth. Not someone I've worked with before. No, 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 no. You would know. <laughs> <laughs> And not to, and obviously not someone I want to work with. Uh, he's one of those ones that, like, if you got into bed with him, it probably wouldn't go well. Okay. So, good to know. I won't yeah. interrupt. Continue. Uh, are you going to allow him to check, Addy? I don't know that she's convinced. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I. Uh I will tell you, I don't think he can just take somebody. I think you have to offer yourself up. And the baby could not offer itself up. You don't know that. And even if it were to be there, I promise you, I would I would contact every god I know, which is apparently quite a lot, and we would we would we would pull that thing out of her and we make sure she's whole again. And this is all this, this is all worst case scenario. I if I don't know if you've noticed Hank, but we've been dealing with a lot of worst case scenarios lately. That is true. That's why I want to I want to make sure that that she is okay. I'm not doing this for me or you. I'm doing this for her. You just, you, you can't know what it feels like, Hank. I, I can't. And I, I don't, I don't have a family like you do. I don't got, I got a, a ship and a crew, but I ain't, I ain't got kids. I, I can't, I can't imagine what you're dealing with right now to both of you's, what you might, what probably racing in your mind. Uh, your mind flashes, Hank? to the fear in your parents' eyes from that dream when you saw how they died on the ship holding you, a baby. I, 
And I feel I've like I've already lost two children. I don't. I can't. And that's what I'm trying to help you do. Protect. This no, one. because if we know, and then you can't, and your little black fucking book of gods does shit all. Eddie, you got to trust him. I'm sorry, Hank. I popped in for a second and I know you've seen some bad I mean, things we're in your life. We're just talking with our voices and not in our heads. So, it's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I popped in. I, I know that you've seen some things. I, I'm sorry. You got to trust him, Addie. He's got best interest in, at heart. And I think he's probably got more in common with Rose and understands a child's heart than we've given him credit for. He also understands where we are. Strangely, he understands a lot, I feel like. There's like books and other things that I know he can't read, but he seems to get and understand a lot of things. I think we got to trust him on this one. Not that I don't trust you, Hank. I just, some things you don't want to know. Yeah, as soon as you know. I, as soon as you, like you can suspect, but as soon as you know, that's when, like, I mean, I knew my family was dead, and I've known this whole time, but as soon as I it was confirmed, it was like I lost them again, you know? I, confirmed. It's, it's in my book. It talks about my family and uh, how they died. Uh, like, I knew I was there. I remember it, but, like, you know, you... I was so young, you're like maybe I didn't remember it right, but but no, it's they're they're gone. I I ain't got nobody else in this world besides this crew. And I understand it's it's easy to hold on to not knowing because it's so hard. Once you let go of that, you ain't know where you fall to. Hey, Jasper? Yeah. He mentions the book again. Can you yeah. do me a favor and make a wisdom saving throw? Sure. Thirteen. Gonna leave it? We we have re-rolls if you need it. I'm no. not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use a re-roll on that. Um I was considering bringing it. I mean, I didn't wanna I'm not interrupting this conversation. No, it's fine, because the voice you hear doesn't interrupt the conversation either. Mm, good. As something dark and reaffirming a curiosity that you've had since the last time you uh -huh. heard Hank mention the book, says you need to find that book. I wonder what's in it. You would make it, you would make very good use of it. Find the book. Um, everyone's pretty distracted right now, yeah? Absolutely. <laughs> I would like to attempt to stealth away. OK, go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh, we'll have anyone that would like to make a perception check. Uh, now I'll use one of those re-rolls. Yeah, Thank you call. so much, table. Do it. Uh, since I'm not particularly stealthy. I would like to make a perception check. Please do. Oh, as Hadal, I'll go ahead and spend one of my rerolls to inflict dis uh, disadvantage on you, Eosh. I don't I gotta like use mine that. for something. I got to help my boy out. My new boy. I'm not your boy. <laughs> You're right. I call you daddy. Hey. I like it when you call me Big Pop. <laughs> wow. Yeah. If he's a real player. Yo, I cannot handle this voice. I'm gonna feel wow. very weirdly tonight, and that's on you, Vanna. I have you feelings have about that shit. Uncle Vanna that I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! Nasty Uncle Vanna is like, oh my god. Thing. Just drop that voice in 
in looking glasses body and we're just <laughs> ready to go. So all of the bells and whistles, everything added together, 21. Yeah, the 21. Uh, what you got? Uh, okay, thanks for the disadvantage, nine. Yep. <laughs> uh, you see Jasper step back and you're like, oh, he's been really cool this whole time and is giving us a chance to have like a family conversation. And you- I'm really yeah. invested in this moment. So I'm glad he's giving us some space. It's so nice of him. Okay, Jasper, where are you going? Uh, going downstairs, uh, back to my room, grabbing the fire giant book. Yep. Uh, picking up the panini press, dropping the panini press in front of Trislin's room. Yep. Um, quickly scribbling a note saying, uh, with uh, in in like decent writing um, to uh, the the four members of the crew. Uh, to the to the and also to Juliet, I will say, uh, <laughs> written though. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for letting me be a part of the crew. I look forward to seeing you again, not that soon. Uh, Captain Jasper J. Gold or Captain Jasper J. Captain. Uh, Bilgewater. Uh, I will leave that in. Well, is Hank's room? No, Hank is. Hank stays in the boat. Mm, but he has a room the, that you're staying. Right, but where's in the book? Room. I'm in his room. Where's his uh, book? His book's uh, in the boat. Is probably in the boat. Or yeah. on him. Mm -hmm. Or on him. Where's, where is, where is I'll go, book? I will uh, look around the room for this book, not see it. Mm -hmm. Remember that he sleeps in the boat and go mm -hmm. back up and start looking in the, in, in the dinghy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you make one more stealth check as you're just like, What's this? And just like do a barrel roll into a dinghy. Uh, 18. I used <laughs> another re-roll. Yeah, good call. Uh, anyone else want to roll to notice this shit? I mean, I nah. want to, but I'm in. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're kind All of right. that. I'm going to say you just get away with this shit. You grab the book. Okay. Hate it. Or uh, unless it's on you. Dirty Hank, is the book physically on you? I don't know. Uh... uh... Is there anything else that I can rob these people blind of right now? Oh, uh, there's there's probably like a bunch, like like a sack full of money. I don't like want a, money. like a purse full of money. No, nope. uh, he doesn't I'm have not... a lot of possessions. Where yeah, the I'm fuck not... is Taika? Ooh, Taika's next to you guys. Right, also, with the baby. Also, Juliet can see everything that happens on her. It's true. Yeah, and Juliet loves Jasper. It's true. Juliet's a little punk ass bitch. She hey Juliet, um, he's I'm loved by her heart and the Hello. ship that he. Hi, hi Juliet. Hi. Um, this has been lovely. Thank you so much. You've been oh. such a good, a good ship. Um, I am, a good I am ship. gonna put in a good word with you with the fortune's favor, which is, is that my the name boat. Of my friend? That's the name of your friend, and I think that you you two should get along swimmingly Just very very swimming. soon. Swimming. I look forward to seeing you again. Um, which uh, of these um, other uh, lifeboats um, do you like the least? Um, well, the one opposite that Dirty Hank doesn't sleep in, so it's even. Mm, okay, I like okay. symmetry. <laughs> I will, uh, and then if you don't mind, could you help me uh, lower that one into the water, please? Of course. And, and she I starts will... to lower it very quickly and kind of loudly. And I will sploosh into the water and, uh, yeah. Did you I'm, guys I'm... just hear a sploosh? Uh, I'm gonna have you make one more uh, investigation roll for me to see what level of shit you get. Who, and I'm me? gonna say, yeah, okay. if you beat, a 20, then I'm gonna have you grab one of the Mizrana Codex scrolls. Ooh, uh, well, I, I used another reroll investigation. Yeah, yeah. Seven, 17. Okay. Yeah, not good um, enough. All good. Uh, do you wanna succeed? For a Codex? Uh, you can rob way more than that. If you no, use my I'm looking for whatever's shiny. <laughs> oh, the Hadal reroll. Yeah, use my oh, reroll. Yeah, Jasper is not afraid of of otherworldly beings. Jasper will take every otherworldly opportunity he can possibly get. I love. I've been guests. feeling fine, baby. baby. I will give you a list after this of everything you pilfered. Cool. As he drops into 
like the water. And I'll say that like, by the end of the conversation that we're about to bamf back to, it will end with the sound of a dinghy going sploosh and like cool sailing off. I didn't come into this game intending to screw you all over, but here we are. It feels welcome it feels to Pirates so of Salt good. Bay. I think Abria wants us to kill you, which is why. I don't <laughs> think that's true. Why are you saying it like a question? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do one quick toast. No, no, no. We'll do it at the very end. Let's come back to this very emotional moment. Oh, God. Uh, I think, I think Addie is gonna, is gonna like look at Rose on her hip and sort of just, I don't know, try to read something in her eyes or in her expression. You know, like, yeah, give me an insight check with advantage. <clears throat> Can I use a reroll? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Uh, <laughs> with my negative one, <laughs> I'm away from it at this point, right? I can't. Yeah, you're gone. Okay. 14. Yeah, with a 14, she gives you a look. And you know how sometimes like babies get that like old soul look? She gives you a look that feels like an adult is looking at you. And you are reminded so very keenly of the adult Rose that you guys met uh, on the celestial plane. When and she it's... reaches and grabs your hair and she like pets it twice and then yanks the shit out of it because she's still a baby. Right, well, we've seen how you get on and um, and you turn out great and strong and beautiful and not at all cursed, not even bad, not, not even given the circumstances of who your parents are or where you were raised. Um, so this will be fine. We're just going to go through this together and everything will be normal and it'll come out normal right uh and she kind of like tries to climb up you a little more to get off of your hip like and more into like center mass uh if you allow her to yeah and she grabs your neck very specifically she puts her hands over your tattoo that gold limb tattoo that is the equivalent of a wish spell that you have on you and she just kind of pats you reassuringly and i need you to make a hit let's go with a history check Fifteen. with a 15 you are comforted by these like gestures and these actions and yet as your mind keeps drifting back to meeting adult Rose, you can't help but think through all the context around that. And you know, because all of you have been taken via Thrain to see what the future holds with Hadal and the tearing asunder of the plane and the deletion of this world. And yet you were able to meet a version of Rose that lives a very normal, very mundane life in the future and something about those two realities is it gives you pause. You're not quite sure how that worked out, but it's just something to think on as you sort of resign yourself. There's something paradoxical here at work. What do you do? Addie will end. Rose over to Hank. Okay, dirty Hank. Uh, Rose is in your arms and she's reaching forward towards your face, like doing the grabby hands again. What do you do? Uh, he's going to bring her in close. Uh, I'm just going to say, hey, kiddo, uh, I need to. Well, I just got to 
he's gonna put his hand like on her head and he's just gonna close his eyes and try and just like just reach in and see like just sense her 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 key like her inner soul and hank goes very still as that happens and as your awareness slips into that like liminal space between you and rose you feel a hand on your face as she like completes the circuit right back to you and it takes probably like 10 minutes for this connection to work through because her magic is new and un unformed and untethered and it takes a while to reach the core of it and the thing that you see is in your mind's eye you see a little baby rose uh she's held aloft in the air in the current configuration in which you're holding her but obviously you can't see yourself and she's looking at you and her hand is clenched around something and as you get closer to her your vision of her flutters back and forth between like the baby version of her and the adult version of her standing right there and they're both holding on to something very tight in their left hand what do you do i'm going to walk over to them and like put my hand out and place their like closed hand in it to like to show me like get them to show me what they're holding on to uh the the baby version is happy to do it because she listens to you the adult version seems way more hesitant and she kind of just shakes her head and eventually she speaks and says "I, i don't know if i should give this to you Uncle Hank, your past with this makes it hard for you. But it's not hard for me. I can hold it without letting it hold me back. And she pulls the like she pulls her hand back from you and opens it very briefly and closes it again. And you see like this like scrunched shadow and it begins to like unfold and spread. And as she closes her hand, it like recoils itself back into her palm. You know what it is. Yeah. And Hank kind of looks at his own hand and he like sees like the sort of like spiritual force of himself. And he sees the taint that is within in that that is inside of him, that it's not something he holds, but it's something that is within him and always will be. And he goes, yeah, I kind of let that thing get the better of me, didn't I? It's okay. You did what you were, what you thought was best. And I, I did what I thought would be best for me. And that's, I'm gonna have to live with that. It's okay. And she reaches forward with her hand, the other one, <laughs> and touches you in the same place that you feel baby Rose touching you. And she just kind of like comforts you and kind of pats your cheek and says, you had to go through everything you went through to get to here, not here, there, to make the To make the timelines right, you have to be what you are. Same with Aunt Trislin and same with Dad. So I know it's hard, but bear it a little longer. You'll make it right. Don't die trying. (laughs) Don't die. You need to teach me how to drink. I mean, that comes easy. You just keep going until... You just keep going. That's all there. Do I'm gonna, it. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to tell mom. In you can't my speak yet. Yeah. Well, I'm the adult one here, and I'm going to go back right now and tell her you said that, and she's going to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, she probably, I, I don't know how long elves live. For long enough. Don't tell. Don't tell. Just nah, like don't. It. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to pay for that. All right. I love you, Uncle Hank. I'm. I love you too. And I'm Aww. I'm glad I'm glad you can hold on to it. Yeah. I'm right. I'm hope, kind of. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I mean you're my hope that I that this comes out in the end. 
Uncle Hank, if you make me cry right now, so help me, I will fucking shoot you in the future. Okay, well, I need to go back there. I'm probably going to lie to your mom about this. I don't, do you, I don't think she should know. <laughs> uh, you can try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do what you think is right. You always do. Okay. Okay. I guess, say you're around. <laughs> and she flashes back and forth between the adult version and the baby version. And the baby version is like grabbing and releasing the shadow. And as it releases, you see what Addie was seeing. Like it swirls around her and slowly forms on you're in a liminal space, but there's a sense of a wall behind her and this like giant form making this gesture like reappears and like the baby version does that back and then cl like clenches its fist again and it recedes back into the fist. Hmm. And then you like release yourself from that meditated state and Rose is asleep in your arms mm -hmm. and her fist is clenched so tightly. I don't know, I'm not disparaging your mothering, Addie, but the last time you cut her nails was not long enough and she's got those little like nail marks in her fist as it's just like welded shut. <laughs> Hank? Uh, yeah, uh, hey, oh, that's always weird. On <laughs> well, oh, it, it, it's fine. She's it's, fine. What do you mean it's fine? She's. She's just magic. She's just magic. It's you know, some people are born magic. It's not It's she, not at all. It's she's not corrupted. She's not she's not tainted. She doesn't need to be saved. She's just a special little baby. She really is. She she really is. Can I have her back now? Yes, absolutely. Uh I will say that like as you start to like hand her back, she begins to wake up and fusses a bit and kind of like is pulling back to Hank. And this is literally the first time she's ever like wanted to stay in Hank's arms. You don't have to, I'm just saying yeah. like, yeah. it's just a, it's a symbol of like the bond they're currently sharing. Yeah. No, or do, you, or do, do you, you wanna hold her longer? I, I'm okay. No, you, you should, you can hold her. <laughs> should... No, it's okay. I might, I'm honestly, I might drop her right now. <laughs> Oh, I can hold her. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. And it's right about this time that you guys all hear a sploosh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did you did you hear a sploosh? Yeah. Hank, Juliet... did your did your bedroom fall in the water again? No, it's right there. <laughs> Juliet, what would that? What? What would that? Oh, um, Jasper has to go back to his boat. He's going to go say hi to my friend for me. Okay. He didn't say bye to us? He said bye to me, and we're best friends. No, you're you're not best friends with him. What? You don't tell me how to feel. You're not my real dad. I, I think we need to have a talk, Juliet. I don't want to talk. Juliet. My friend Jasper is cool. Juliet, is there <laughs> anything? Cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, I introduced I introduced her to her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. I'm the cool. And I'm the cool uncle. I'm cool dad. Yeah, Juliet, is there is there what? anything not on the ship besides that dinghy and him that should be here? Uh, he took some of his books with him. How many his of his books? Yeah, he, he didn't come here with any books, did he? He didn't have nothing when he came here. No, he had a lot of, he made artificing equipment. Like he made lots of stuff and then he put it all out and- Stuff he did he make? Uh, he makes stuff like he made tools. What books made, did like, he take? like a little fiddle cannon. I can't read. There's just books. He takes stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check my dinghy. <laughs> yeah. Your dinghy is robbed. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I, can I then, uh, spend a bunch of, uh, key points to cast fly? <laughs> <laughs> you take the baby Eos for a moment. I got, I got some things I got to take care of. Why do yeah. you sound like that dirty Hank? Oh, uh, Hank's got a deal with some stuff. Uh, take the baby Eos. I, I done. 
Okay. And then I'm just going to jump off the boat and... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say Jasper had a pretty good head start on you. Yep. And uh, yeah, you feel the entire ship lurch in the opposite direction of the dinghy shortly before you take off. Hmm. Like she was trying to give him a little bit more of a leeway. I'm going to go after him at 60 feet around. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you know how fast someone can row but also he's an artificer so yeah yeah uh, Got some well, tricks. I'm, re I'm ready for this you yeah. ready for this <laughs> yep i'm ready i'm to gonna go. say you are also assisted because the dinghy is also juliet oh and he isn't rowing yeah okay how close what am i to shore fuck? is Let's my go. fucking zit havana that ain't right yes your zit is you that's really it's rude. all you you gotta <laughs> love it you have to love all parts of you uh, let's see. I'm going to say roll a tiny. We're going to do a very tiny initiative here. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Uh, uh, it's so I'm plus two and I rolled a natural 20. Oh, okay. Well, he's probably gonna go first. How'd I'm plus do? one and I rolled an 18. So, uh -huh. okay. So Hank, what do you do? Uh, I am going to fly at, after him. Uh, I'm going to say you're, you can get within 30 feet of him. Okay. Then, uh, then once I'm in uh, within thirty feet, uh, how about a? I guess I will just go. Hmm. Ah, fuck. Cause like, like if I just burn the boat down, that gets rid of all the stuff, doesn't it? Damn. It does. Uh, then I will, I will use a, a two key points. Uh, mm -hmm. let me make sure I mark down all the ones I used to fly to do uh, Fist of the uh, Unbroken Air, uh, which is a 30 foot range. Uh, target must make a strength saving throw. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Well, I rolled a 16, but I think I get a minus one, so 15. 15 matches. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, I don't think anything happens on a miss. Uh, just so you know, uh, plus one table reroll for you guys, thanks to Thursby. Thanks, Thank Thursby. You. Yeah. Do you so want to make me reroll that save? No, you don't get to do that. Yeah, I don't asking. get that power. I wish I had asking. that power. <laughs> yeah. No, then nothing happens. Then a giant like column of 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 wind rushes past you, but uh, mm -hmm. you like the boat gets out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, Jasper. It just moves think? the boat farther. Away. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, five feet away. <laughs> so how? Again, how close am I to the shore? Uh, were you aiming for the shore, or were you aiming for your boat? How far away is my boat? Uh, I will say that your boat is waiting, probably maybe six hundred feet away, like in the deeper water, <sighs> and you're probably like one hundred and twenty feet away from the shore. I need to get to the boat then. Okay, uh, how fast does the boat move? Uh, the boat seems to be hauling at about 50 feet around. All right, uh, and I can't dash the boat. Uh, I, will, dash the boat. <laughs> I will 50 feet towards my boat and uh, I will use my entire action to cast message Ooh. At, uh, at Hank and say, I'm sorry, I couldn't say goodbye, Hank. Um, you know, I left you all a note, um, but you know, this was this was a really great adventure, and I look forward to uh, to to joining you and all of the rest of the crew very very soon. I'll tell Malik Clemens you said hi. <laughs> oh. Okay. You really want to die? That's wild. <laughs> and I will offer you one more gift, as you hear a voice. Uh, I'm not gonna make Vanna do this because I was like sending her messages on the side, but you hear a, a sickly sweet voice in your ear that says, would you like my assistance? No, I'm good. I got this one. We're good. You sure? Yep. All right, just let me know. Hank needs to let off a little steam, you know? Like I uh, wanna let him get a little, he gets I appreciate it though. We'll talk, angry. we'll talk later. We'll talk oh, later, it's fine. We will, go ahead. All right. That's my turn. Okay. Hank, you will be able to catch up with him this round. Cool. Uh, let's see. I am going to 
to roll. I'm going to spend how many? Yeah. So then it'll be two key points to do a flurry of blows as I punch him uh, four times. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's see. Uh, most of these are hot trash. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, one of them is that I got a 16. Does a 16? 16 will hit. Okay. So, and then, and then an 18 plus eight. And those are the only two that'll probably hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, you know what mage armor feels like. I have mage armor up. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, not wearing any armor, not particularly, uh, hard to hit. All right. That's two hits. Uh, I will then roll the damage. It probably won't be much. Uh, but I'm going to spend two, two additional key points to uh, do stunning strike. Mm. So uh, you have to make a uh, make. Uh, I believe, yeah, you have to make two Constitution saves. Yeah, and take uh, fourteen damage total. Bludgeoning. Fourteen damage bludgeoning total. Okay. Uh, for those of you playing along at home, I have 80 hit points. I'm now at 66. Uh, I re-rolled. I'm going to use it. Do we have any re-rolls left? A few. Okay. Just kidding. We have so many. You're good. <laughs> right. yeah. I re-rolled the first uh, constitution save, and I got a 16. Okay, yes. that'll that'll meet. Or that's good. And then 17 on the dice for the second one. Yeah, Then then neither one of these stun you. And uh, that's that. That was my action and my bonus action and some movement. Mm -hmm. I can move more, but I'm not going to. And you're in the dinghy with me. I'm kind of floating above you. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. Uh, so on my turn, I will say, "You want this one back? Is this one you want back? You want this one back? All right, fine. I'll leave. I'll leave the one that he wants back on the on the with, boat with blood running out of your mouth." <laughs> Yeah, with, I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a snot trail. I'm taking the rest of this with me, though. So I'll see you later. And as I get 50 more feet, that puts me within 500 feet of my boat. Mm -hmm. I will cast Dimension Door. I will get on my boat. And then as an action, once I'm on my boat, and if you want to rope this into the... Well, they don't know yet, actually. Yeah. I get to my boat. Yeah. Okay. So, you have, watch... so you have an empty dinghy with one boat uh... on it. Yeah, I just want you you vamp away. Do y'all <laughs> have secrets? What? Do you have secrets? Is I'm so sorry. I think my uh the internet You heard me, bitch. <laughs> Jesus, it's so good. <laughs> Tell us your secrets. <laughs> I'm about to. Dirty Hank, what do you do? Your book is left in the dinghy. Uh, uh how confident am I in this book? Oh, uh, oh, oh, are you trying to yeah. verify it? Yeah. Oh, smart. Make it's your a... it's your fucking family book. Yeah. Make an Smells investigation like check your with your dad. Advantage. Okay. Uh okay. Smells investigation. Like yeah. <laughs> it smells like your dad. <laughs> uh, oh, and I already have advantage with investigation, but that's fine. I uh 16. Okay. Yeah, with a 16. Uh is this his book? Uh I didn't, you know what? How about this? I didn't think I was going to have enough time to fake this book. So, Eric, did I fake the book or not? I don't think you did, because you probably okay. wouldn't have, because you only just got it. Like, Correct. You yeah. wouldn't have it's, it's actually your book. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But as far as Hank, I mean, Hank just saw you disappear from that. Like, I don't really have any real idea of where, I mean, you're mm -hmm. probably at your boat, but it's 500 feet away, and I <laughs> doubt I could keep up. And you, you got what go. you wanted. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna unless just like, you were really hard up for that giant book. I mean, I I I don't know if I noticed it was there, but if it if I did, I'm like, well, fuck. Uh, Guess I'm getting flayed alive by Trisla. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Hank is like just it. gonna sit down in the dinghy and go, Well, Juliet, uh, you successfully let that man steal from us. Can we go back now? He's not stealing. He's just gonna read the books. You let him read books. Yeah. Don't he, yell at me. He took them. That man took those books and took advantage of you. And that's my fault. We should not have put you in a situation like that. Oh my god. Roll just I guess intimidation something. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> uh persuasion. What's the shame check in this? 
I, I'm not very persuasive. Uh, Deception? I don't know. Roll something. Okay. I Juliet rolled gets in your feelings. A 12, and with any of my charisma based things, I'm minus one, so 11. <laughs> <laughs> with an 11, she just gets really quiet, and the boat slowly begins to like drift back toward uh, the fair Juliet proper. And as you're floating back, you hear this massive like bellowing sound and then this big like spray of water coming out of a cave that's shaped a lot like a like a big wolf's mouth and you see like looking into it it gets really gray and misty and you have a very strong sense that you have located the exact vapor caves that you were looking for okay and past that uh what was it called? Uh, fortune. Oh. Fortune's favor. Fa yeah, fortune's favor. Uh, slowly begins to like drift off and away. What's and the that flag look like? Does it got a little punk ass bitch on it? it does does have a little punk ass bitch on it? Spicy. It little actually, it actually <laughs> has a smuggler's banner, um, which yeah. is a feature from the Salt Marsh book that I'm trying to look up. Because no one knows what Salt Marsh is. You're fine. It's fine. As, because as soon as I get back Not to wrong. my ship, <laughs> let, me, yeah. let me look up what Smuggler's Banner does because I chose it specifically for what this boat can do. Okay, um, okay, okay. Smuggler's Banner is a miscellaneous upgrade to my ship. And once, so uh, this is going to be part of uh, uh, Jasper's it's not, outro. It's not time for that. You let oh. me finish this and then oh. we can explain it. Okay, so we are going to wrap here for tonight. And we have one final toast. So raise your jug of lukewarm orange juice. <laughs> raise your jugs. <laughs> yes, raise your jugs. Terry, no! <laughs> you do that off stream. <laughs> They're covered, it's fine. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're okay. lifted. Amazing. This is Twitch, they hate women here. Thank you. This one's from Ogo Pogo Mojo. Thank you so much. Magic baby all day, every day. <gasps> Boy! Boy! Oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for unlocking Magical Rose. It's so good. Yeah, that I was love awesome. It. And Wonderful. As we wrap on the crew and Hank's disappointment and Juliet's shame, and yeah, we sort of fade out. We go to the stinger which I would love nothing more than to hand over to Ruben. So after it fades to black and we get the credits, it fades back in and the camera comes up from the sea past the name, the fortune's favor and the, uh, the, the masthead, which is of a merit, a sort of fat genie like water uh, creature whose webbed hand uh, is carved in a dark wood. It sticks out from the front and that sort of passes over the boat onto the deck of the ship where my clockwork crew is uh, working and using the oars um, that, that are uh, magically allowed to be used as such. And I look up and I see uh, all of the things that I want. I want, I got like shiny new cannons. I've got um, excellent rigging. I've got nice sails and I've got that smuggler's banner that I've always wanted. This flag is meant to be flown from the ship's mast. It has a powerful magic. Uh, as an action, the ship and all friendly creatures aboard it teleport up to three miles to a known location oh, of the shit. captain's choice. Hostile creatures aboard the ship don't move with the ship and fall into the water where it once occupied. Once I've used it, I can't teleport again for 2d6 days. Damn, that's so as, shit. So as the crew looks Hyper out speed, at the it? fortune's favor. <laughs> we need to get y'all a motherfucking smuggler's banner. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> I sort of, I'm, I'm a thousand feet away. I'll wave and I'll blink out of existence. Ugh, amazing. And that's, a, that's a good stinger. That's a good ass stinger. Thank you so much, Ruben, for coming on it again and joining yeah, us. Yeah, thank and you. Helping to like improve the story in such amazing ways. Ugh, I love it. I, I I appreciate you welcoming me into your game space, even though Jasper's an asshole. Um, no, I clearly love bad. assholes. He's not we that all bad. are. We all we are. are assholes. Jasper's yeah. fine. We spent all the us. season premiere <laughs> extorting a library for things and then not giving them the thing back once we had the money. That's fair. They 
were the was, assholes. Um, and we'll see. Funny. Oh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on, uh, which I didn't have before, someone else's tricorn hat because I'm the oh. captain of this ship now and I have somebody oh. else's hat. I guess we'll see whose hat I stole. Oh my God. Oh my God. It ain't, it ain't me. I don't take that shit out. Is it me? <laughs> Did you steal Addie's backup hat? Uh, sure. Yeah, that sounds about. Come right. on, I don't. I don't get a roll in this or like a. Is you, yeah. Which, which rooms are are no, unlocked? No, no. You know what? No, no, no. You took it. I definitely don't have any sort of homing beacons in my hats. There Definitely not. So perfect. That's fine. So I'll she's a magic on... user. Why would right. she be exactly and, like very, very? Yeah, I'm like. I'm not, I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about scrying. <laughs> Who knows? That's, yeah. uh, I just love... This is. It's a nice hat. I love you. Like I'm gonna look through Dirty Hank stuff. You're like, there's like like a buck fifty and like a cool <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hank has a lot of money that he's unaware of. Yeah, you have a lot of cool <laughs> shit that you don't even realize is your cool shit. Yep. So I'm going to uh, go collect my crew of uh, of apparently villains. We love it. And we look forward to seeing you perhaps again in the future. Yeah, this was As great. Some... Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you uh, where can the internet find you? Uh, hi, I'm uh, available everywhere on all the social media channels at M-O-X-R-E-U-B-Y. Uh, old episodes of The Broken Pact are available on the Dungeons & Dragons Twitch and YouTube channels. Uh, the first C three seasons, not C-3-sons, of C the show as well as... Yeah. That's right. And, <laughs> and a few, and a few uh, specials are available on those channels and on Saving Throw Show as a podcast. Uh, so please check those out. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Vanna? Uh, oh, I see, I see it in the chat now, Abria. If everyone else wants to take a look at that, Abria has uh, put the order in the chat <laughs> so we don't have to say it out loud. Uh, we can just smoothly go through this process without any sort of distraction or interruption. Going really well right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm Vanna, um, and you can find me streaming five days a week over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Vanna, that's V-A-N-A, -A. uh, play variety games on Mondays. We do indie titles on Saturdays. We do scary games with scary alerts and otherwise you can see all the other stuff I get up to on my Twitter. That's Havana Rama, H-A-V-A-N-A-R-A-M-A. -A -A uh, and I also put up recently a link to my brand new merch store. Uh, which has some manifest your truth designs in it. Yeah, nice. familiar with <laughs> the meme that Ruben referenced tonight. Yeah, um, and it also has some Fidoac merch, and I plan on putting uh, some old art prints up there and enamel pins and stickers and stuff too. So if you like what I do here, you might like yeah. what my very, very, very skilled artist friends do there. So that's and that's just vanna.storeenv.com. So that's actually pretty easy to look up to. Nice. I love it. Buying. I need a tank. Um, super cute. Super, 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 super cute. Um, hi, guys. It's Terry Gamble. You can find me at the Terry Gamble on the internet. Um, TerryGamble.com as well. Um, at the Terry Gamble on whatever, all the relevant social media platforms um, to see what I'm doing. This weekend, I'm doing a um, charity event on Sunday. Um, it's a reading. It's a live read of a, um, a wonderful script that some um, dear friends have written. Um, I have some dope people that are going to be reading along. I'm narrating um, said 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 live read. Um, my, one of my dear friends, Tommy Lank, he was one of the awesome villains in the um, Buffy TV show. You'll probably recognize his face when you check him out. He's also an amazing Instagram influencer and a friend of mine from college. So it's cool that our, our crew of people have assembled to do something good, helping um, all the union folks that are in the motion picture film TV folks. A lot of those people are contract people and are not getting any money right now um, and not getting stimulus money depending on, and not getting lots of different money depending on how their shit's set up. It's crazy. So we want to help some people out. So it's a fundraiser. You can get tickets. Um, you can check out, I think I have it pinned or I will pin it um, on my um, Twitter. Um, what else? Horror Movie Survival Guide, a podcast I do every week about scary movies. We were talking about Franken monsters. We talked about Bride of Frankenstein this week. So Ooh. definitely thinking about that. Um, 
check that out. I have a dope interview dropping this next week. I'm not going to tell you who, but it's really good. It was from the before I want to know. Ooh. Tell it's me. So good. I'll tell you later, maybe. Maybe. I think you already told us. No. <gasps> this one? Maybe. Now I want to know more. I definitely didn't talk about it on the show. If I did, oh, no, I no, talked no. about I, it. I meant us. Yeah. yeah I might have talked Arguably. about it off stream, but yeah. definitely not on stream because I would definitely mm -hmm. under wraps, wraps, wraps. Abraham yeah. Lincoln. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> The one we got on. Wow. Call what a thing. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies <laughs> and Abraham Lincoln or whatever. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> check it out. It's good. Some cool shit. I'm very excited about it and more. Uh, yeah, it's good for now. Oh, Other World London. Um, a 12 sided stories is happening right now, too. Um, I think we're still in the middle of that. Yeah, we are. I've been doing other Patreon stuff with them, too. So if you're on the Patreon for that, you get a whole, a whole nother show that I'm, that's where my mind is at right now. Um, like these crazy like detectives like dealing with you know otherworldly shit little x file files -y. yeah so um we do it all yeah we do <laughs> nice also it's abraham lincoln vampire hunter i'm sorry i just put i know i did that for the people that's like when you go like live long and prosper you're my only hope or whatever yeah that's good <laughs> Uh, hi everyone, my name's Eric. You can find me on all the social medias at Mostly Eric, which is all the, the name of my Twitch channel, uh, where I stream uh, most weekdays uh, playing. Right now we're going through Mass Effect 2, trying to collect Ooh. all them cool space boyfriends, trying to get all the best space boyfriends. Uh, we've got most of the space boyfriends and they're pretty, they're pretty great. Uh, and then uh, on Saturday mornings, you can always check me out on uh, the Twitch channel. It's probably okay for our return to the Spider-Verse game, uh, which also Abria is in playing Miles Morales, and I am in playing the titular Man Spider. No! <laughs> it's bad every time. It's so bad every time. Every single time. Uh, and then uh, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., you can catch me on the Kyle McCarley Twitch channel doing The Board and Barrel, where we play a bunch of uh, board games. And we're currently going through the Firefly board game, which, oh. man, that that board game takes a million years. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, if you're still so going So you recommend it. it. Right. <laughs> it's on. Like, we picked, like, they're like, if this is your first time, you should play this one. It's the two-hour version. And we are six hours in. Sure. Oh, sure. no. Are they oh, wrong wow. or are you bad at games? Yes. <laughs> when when this all ends, I have a board game that a friend of mine designed that's really beautiful that I'll let you. Do. Ooh, I would love to. Yeah, we dope. love playing all kinds. Ooh. Like we didn't think Firefly would turn into Twilight Imperium for us, but right. apparently it is. <laughs> oh, Ti, love it. Sweet. Uh, and I am Abria Iyengar. Uh, you can catch me on social media at Quiddy Q U I D D I E. Uh, in addition to the stuff that was mentioned by other people that I also take a part in. On Wednesdays, you can catch me over at the Scabby Rooster playing in Dimian's Gate at 7 p.m. PST. Uh, it's a really cool game in the Hill Folk system, which is super dramatic. And I play uh, the bad guy because that's just what I am now. Who you are. Yeah. Uh, next week's episode might have a, a cool friends. I think it's the bad guy. Abraham Lincoln? A, bu a buddy. Yeah, it's going to be Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. It's very good. Um, if there's something else I need to flunk, but I don't remember it. So we're just going to move on. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. Oh, God, it's so late. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, chat. Thank you, all of you. And we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Thank you. Booty. Booty. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? Yours. It's yours. No. Abria. No. no, I slept through mine. <laughs> <laughs>